insiders, this will be over and over. To lead by an any big fat love, find common ground to hold the spread of lies. And we must do it big fat love, find common ground to hold the spread of lies. And any America first, America first, non fatal. We want to build a much better. Okay, welcome to the Ladder with the Crowder. Last debate live stream. We're going to have our drinking game rules coming up, and we're going to have Senator Ted Cruz. But first, we're here to pre game with the man, with the plan, the dad himself, the godfather, the man who in the neighborhood kisses all the girls on his arm who want to be with Donald Trump Jr. And we have uh, Donald Trump Jr. at Donald Trump Jr. His book is Liberal Privilege. Uh, Joe Biden and the Democrats' defense of the indefensible. Wow, uh, some stellar timing. How are you, Mr. Don Jr.? I, I'm, I'm doing well. You know, it, it was interesting. I, I, I spent you know, the quarantine time starting in March researching our opponent because I couldn't go to work. I, you know, I wasn't going to loot and riot. It's not really my thing. <laughs> You've got an exemption from having to stay home if you were going to loot and riot. Uh, and you know, I started doing this research and found a lot of this corruption. It's hard to believe that even six months later now, the book I wrote is actually more true than it ever was, that it was always pretty damn accurate. But what's scarier right now, we're seeing the potential president of the United States prior to an election literally being compromised by foreign governments, his son dealing and peddling influence, all of the things, Stephen, that they hoped and prayed Donald Trump Jr. was doing. Right. All of the things they ran with for four years, as though it was the gospel, with exactly zero evidence. All of the things that when they accused us, we were totally transparent, put everything out there, be like, here, have at it. Right. Hunter Biden was actually doing. Hunter Biden's been doing for years, and now they're okay with it. Right. I mean, when I look at what social media has done trying to censor the New York Post, you know, it's the second largest paper in New York. Wow. It's a 200-year-old institution. They did this. And now the media that lost their goddamn minds every time Donald Trump called them fake news, turns out he was right about the Russia hoax. Now they're calling fake news on their own journalists when the Biden campaign themselves won't even deny that these things are true. Well, that's one thing they I wanted to say. It, meaning- that's a big difference between we showed this on, uh, on the uh, program, uh, I believe, two days ago. When your dad was asked by the moderator, Welker, uh, Welker who we'll get into, about Russia, he said, I never colluded or worked with Russia. It is a complete hoax. And you should know. He answered unequivocally denied it, whereas Biden just goes, yeah, you would ask that question, uh, fat China. <laughs> yeah. No, well, and, and that's the thing. And more, more importantly, then they put out this thing. Well, well, Joe Biden didn't have that meeting in his official calendar. It's like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Yeah, so, no, oh, let me look at his oh, Google, at his I calendar, Ayatollah with Iran and a VPN. Okay, make some calls. Yeah, you didn't put corrupt meeting with oligarch paying Hunter a million who's holding millions for Joe in the official White House calendar. But the fact that the media hears that, not the question that was asked, by the way, but they hear that and they say, oh, this is freaking wonderful. Joe's clear. Right. Joe's clear. And now you have the media literally today and the Democrats and the never Trumpers peddling like Iranian disinformation, Iranian disinformation. They're like, let's just send it out there because it hurts Donald Trump. Well, can, we, can I clarify something here? Because Iran tried to hurt Donald Trump. I mean, yeah, think about how insane this is. Yeah, and that's something that's important because it's been misrepresented. They've tried to say, look, the Iranians actually were sending a di- and Russians are uh, disseminating this disinformation campaign, yeah. trying to intimidate voters. No, hold on a second. They sent false letters as the Proud Boys to try and intimidate. Do you really think that they're doing that to try and help Donald Trump? Do you really they're like, hey, let's send them say it's the Proud Boys? Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump that canceled the deal where Obama and Biden gave them $150 billion. Yeah, right. Donald Trump canceled that. The Iranians really want Donald Trump to win. Russia really wants Donald Trump to win. Who put more sanctions on Russia than any administration, including during the Cold War under Reagan. <laughs> no, they want Joe Biden to win because they know they've bought him off. Imagine this, Stephen. What okay. they've found already on Hunter. That's like one or two journalists looking. Imagine they've sick you know, 10,000 journalists on Donald Trump Jr. like they did. Do it to Hunter. Imagine okay. how much more they would find. Yeah. Imagine how much more is there if they were even willing to look, but they're not. And you know because what? If there's, not, if there's not enough there, 
just give him a 10 gram rock and he'll give you everyone knows the keys to the safe with Hunter Biden. <laughs> let me let me ask you this. This is actually giving me deja vu from when John Kerry officially endorsed Osama bin Laden. I remember it was so stupid that he released it. It's like, well, if you want him to win, Osama, don't say no one's wanting your endorsement. Um, let me ask, do you think any well, Go ahead. But Joe Biden got the Osama bin Laden endorsement, too. In the raid, they killed Osama bin Laden. They found the documents that were classified at the end of last year. There are documents between Osama bin Laden and his biggest henchmen saying they wanted to kill Obama. This is back in, like, uh, you know, early Obama admin. They wanted to kill Obama because that would put Joe Biden in charge. Right. Think of Osama bin Laden wanted wow. to kill Obama because that would put Joe Biden in charge. And that, by itself would lead to the destruction of America because he's that grossly unprepared. Right. Even Osama bin Laden did. Right. And yeah, and they were even and saying... That endorsement you know, coveted in politics. But I don't want Osama bin Laden endorsement. You know, and Joe Biden, by the way, was the only other guy that, in America that didn't want to go in and kill him. I mean, this is the stupidity <laughs> of Joe Biden. And that well, that's the thing. They thought if they got... Their entire week. They thought if they got rid of Barack Obama, it would be easy to, you know, dangle the carrot and kind of manipulate Biden. And in Biden's case, it was an actual dangling of the carrot. They were just going to stand beside, behind him with a fishing pole and a carrot. And, uh, that's you know, enough. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Maybe, it, maybe, a six, maybe a six-year-old scalp, you know, just <laughs> going to it like Yogi Bear with a pie on a windowsill. Just <laughs> um, let me ask you this. Do you think any of this will come up in tonight's debate? Do you think there will be any questions about this? And if not, does, does your dad have to bring it up? Because there are mixed opinions on that. Listen, I think he has to bring it up. You saw it was supposed to be the foreign policy to debate. The second this stuff came out, all of a sudden they eliminated foreign policy. Now they're going to talk about climate change. I mean, think about how stupid this is. And, you know, no one will talk about the facts of climate change. Like, according to NASA, 1.4 degrees since 1860. Yeah. 18, 150 years, 1.4 degrees. Like, yes, that's why California is burning. Not because of terrible forest management. Not because of the environmentalists refusing to let people in there to clean up some of the mess and standing dead timber, it's 1.4 degrees. That made all the difference in the world. It, does, it shouldn't surprise us, though, anymore, Steve. You saw the last debate, right? The last moderator was supposed to be this great guy, totally impartial. Turns out he's a Joe Biden intern. He's sending never-Trumpers what he thought was a DM. Turns out it was just out on Twitter. What should I hit Trump with? And he lies about it and says that he was hacked. No, wait, who are we talking he about? Hacked. And Steve Scully, that was for the second debate. Right, right, okay. Yeah. Right. So he lies and says that he was hacked. That was for the, what was supposed to be the second debate. So I said, OK, well, if he was hacked, he's the moderator of the second debate. That could be Russian interference in our election. Well, you know Why what? don't you report it to the FBI? Well, that was a lie, too. And it should this have... one tonight is a is a former Biden administration person like uh, and uh, Obama administration person. Like, so I'm not expecting fairness. And when I see them trying to eliminate the topic that would be dangerous to Joe Biden, like selling out our country. Right. Uh, if me all I need to know. And I'm a little nervous because uh, uh, Steve, was, uh, Steve, who you're talking about, but same thing with Kristen Welker. I, you know, the fact that she's been pinned with Biden's high school ring. A lot of people aren't talking about oh, that. Seems yeah. that should be uh, more That's of a story. It, it, but let me ask you this. Well, foreign policy, listen, the reason I don't want to discuss that is because we have no new major wars. Donald Trump is the only president in modern American history to do that. And hey, some actual peace in the Middle East. That got no coverage. That's one of the biggest peace treaties that is, it's the biggest one that's happened in my lifetime between Israel and the UAE. And this is obviously the economy, foreign policy, uh, which they said would be Donald Trump's weak suit. Remember when they were asking about the Arab Spring and these kind of trick questions? Turns out you don't need to be a political hobbyist to actually get things done. And it would be irrefutable that Donald Trump has done more for criminal justice reform and peace in the Middle East than any president in modern history. It's just not even up for debate. I don't even think Van Jones tries. No, they, they, they won't even, you know, the problem is they won't even discuss those sort of things. If it's good for Donald Trump, they'll pretend it doesn't happen. I mean, they, Joe Biden's going to fix racial relations in America. I go, why do you wait? I mean, you know, 47 years is a long time to build up, right? I mean, you know, you, you've seen that. You have guys on your show. It takes a little while to get them loosened up, like a minute. Right. 47 years is too long. If, you're to, you know, if he really cared about these issues, you know, you would think he would have utilized, I don't know, 38 years in the Senate or maybe his eight years as the first as the vice president to the first African-American president. But he doesn't care. It's, it's about pandering. Same with peace in the Middle East. They spent more time fact-checking my sister's speech. When she gave, you know, at the RNC, because it was that time when she talked about her three-year-old son building a little Lego White House. Did he do it by himself? <laughs> <laughs> Three. He probably had a little bit of help. Like, what's your point? 
but they would rather cancel a three-year-old than talk about Donald Trump's accomplishments. <laughs> true. They'd rather cancel a three-year-old. To be fair. No, they, they did. No, you're true. It you're right. True. To be fair, though, to be fair, Biden was very clear about his racial relations plan. It's the it's the Rip Van Winkle approach. So he's waiting a long time. I, I think it's about 48 years. Um, yes, let, let me he ask. doesn't want his kids going to school in a racial jungle. I mean, <laughs> yes. you know. Yes, we've yeah. talked about no, that ad nauseum. Racial bad. jungle. It's like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. If anyone in your family said well, that. This is a guy. This is a guy that was buddies with every segregationist to ever walk the halls of Congress, and not just friendly. Like he eulogized them at their funerals. Like Joe Biden has no basis yeah. on this. His crime bill, everything. Donald Trump reversed the disaster that Joe Biden did to those communities, yeah. and yet, you know, according to the media, Joe Biden's going to finally fix something after half a century. It's my thought. Right. Well, it'll, it'll be good. That we'll, and then he took a big steaming dump on, on Clarence Thomas. I'll never forget that. A lot of people don't realize, no. you know what turned Andrew Breitbart, who was kind of my mentor, you know what turned him into a conservative? Was Clarence Thomas. Oh, he yes. said he tuned yeah. in to wow. watch them nail this guy. And by the end of it, he said, oh, my gosh, they're going to crucify this guy and he's innocent. That's what turned him into the Andrew Breitbart that we knew. Oh. Let me ask you this. Do you think that it may actually be? And I know, listen, I'll talk with Ted Cruz about this, too. But the, the debate commission we know is unfair. We know that it's biased. But do you think there may be a silver lining there for Joe Biden? to have two minutes all to himself. By the way, without question, I think that was probably what I would would have wanted more out of the first debate, which is, you know, the problem is Joe Biden got two minutes to lie, so Donald Trump then had to kind of correct the record, and they were both interrupting, and Joe interrupted first. But the reality is this, yes, there were times where I'm like, no, just let him talk. Just right. let him talk, because this guy, you know, he can't remember what state he's in 50% of the time. If you give him unfettered talk, we should just cede all of our time and let Joe Biden talk for two hours. Yeah, uh, because that won't work out well for Joe Biden. Um, you know, anyone who's watched him try to give a speech uh, publicly has seen that. I mean, even teleprompted is a disaster. That's, that's right. hard to believe because, again, after half a century in the D.C. swamp, you'd think you'd be able to read a teleprompter. But even that's the challenge for Joe Biden. Well, you know, he has myopia. Um, let me ask. Uh, well, first off, again, the book is uh, Liberal Privilege, Joe Biden and the Democrats Defense of the Indefensible. It's per everyone. Can I think everyone needs to read this right now. Uh, Two things. I have a statement first. The one thing that I think would behoove uh, President Donald Trump is in the last one, rightfully so, he was angry, like you said, because of the moderator. I think when you look at the debates last time, particularly the second debate with Clinton, you know what was really likable about that is he seemed like he was having fun. And so I think the more it seems like Donald Trump is having fun and even though he needs to be tough, but is there enjoying it? I think that's when he's at his best. And then my last question to you is because we do have to go. We have uh, uh, Senator Ted Cruz waiting on the line. Um, how do you expect tonight to play out? Listen, you know, again, I, I do think it's, you know, it, it's going to be a biased playing field. But, you know, listen, my dad's good at these sort of situations. He's a game time player. He's willing to tackle and challenge the norms. That's why we're getting results. That's why we're getting out of endless wars. That's why we're getting peace deals done in the Middle East. All of these things that we've heard about for our whole lives, but no one's actually ever effectuated. Uh, you know, so, you know, I, I think he'll do well. Uh, despite sort of that bias, I think, you know, we do have to bring up some of the things that the moderators are going to do whatever they can to avoid talking about because the American people deserve to know, Stephen. Right. I mean, again, imagine it was Donald Trump Jr. and not Hunter Biden. The Republican Party would step in and say, Donald Trump, you must resign. You must step down right now. R remember when they were speculating <laughs> that you had done cocaine when at your speech? Remember at the RNC? And they're like, this this guy is like, he, this guy makes Charlie Sheen look like uh, he lo looks like uh, uh, Ron Howard. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it, it, it was crazy. I mean, and that's exactly. I think I think you have me confused with Hunter Biden, but they won't talk about it <laughs> right. again. If I returned a car with a crack pipe in it to a rental car agency <laughs> with my ID. I mean, it would be a story. I'm not saying, hey, listen, we all have our, our, our friends with addiction problems. Yeah, hell, I don't drink for a reason. It's not because I was good at it. You know what I mean? Right. I, I get it. We all have, no, it's true. I, I'll call a spade a spade. We all have our, but like, I have a feeling that I wouldn't get the sympathetic view of, of those kind of problems, especially right. not if I was selling my country out for millions of dollars, especially if I was making millions with no ability to actually do that. You think the Chinese gave... You know, him $1.5 billion because he was a great investor or because he was compromised? No, I think of that's... Of course it's because he was compromised. You can't look at his record. If I was hiding for years from child support payments, you think I'd get the benefit of the doubt and say, eh? No, I don't think you would get the benefit. I wouldn't give you the benefit of the doubt because I don't give anyone the benefit of the doubt. But that just shows the, the arrogance, right? Do Joe Biden just thinks he won't answer the questions. He doesn't deny the authenticity. But if he doesn't answer the question, the media will carry his water. Same thing with the arrogance of Hunter Biden leaving a crack pipe in a rental car. If I... 
smoke a cigar in a rental car with a scenic view and the windows open, I put in some kitty litter and baking soda and some Febreze because, you know, I don't want to get hit with a $250 bill. But I do, we do have to leave it on that. I do appreciate you are one who calls a spade a spade. Also, Joe Biden uh, calls uh, a spade a spade. So we will be back after this with Senator Ted Cruz. The book is Liberal Privilege. Thank you so much, Don Jr. We must go. He won't get out my face. Open your mind. Let us begin our quest. Now you, Donald Trump, need to bring what remains of Joe Biden to the embalming parlor. My undercrowder and I are making preparations. <laughs> I was about to break. I was about to make me break. I'm not looking, but I just feel. The clock is ticking on the embalming wall. Joe Biden will soon be mine. And me and that doesn't make any sense. Soon creepy Joe Biden will be it, it will be yeah. uh, Thanks so just to, don't just, you just yeah just just do your thing. Your livers will all rest in peace. Be sure to turn into the louder with crowded live stream. It's tune. Tune. Tune you mortician. F I don't get out much. <laughs> I live in a hole in the ground. <laughs> Senator uh, Ted Cruz, thank you for being here, sir. You, you know, Stephen, that there are decaffeinated brands on the market that, that are just as tasty. <laughs> Not for the nature boy, a woo-woo. So, um, for people who can understand, the podcast is Verdict. Not yeah. The Verdict, which is one of my right. favorite Paul Newman films with Jack Warden. And uh, the book is obviously one vote away. And I think it's, it's very important for people who don't know, it's not just about the Supreme Court, but about cases that were determined by one vote. Big one, people not having the right to own firearms at all. A lot of folks don't know about Heller. But before we get to that, let me ask you, what do you predict for tonight? We had you on before the first of what was supposed to be three debates. <laughs> Uh, and we thought we'd have you back for the last one. We didn't think it would be the second one. Wh what do you think tonight will be like, and how do you think it may be contrasted from the first debate? Look, I hope tonight there's actually less fireworks than the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope tonight the real division is on substance. Um, the, la the, the first one between Trump and Biden was, was kind of a food fight. I mean, it was there, they were yelling and, and insulting each other. Right. That's fine, but but I actually think that that played to the Democrats' strength. They want it to be all about personality. They don't want it to be about substance. What I hope the president does is draw a clear distinction between free enterprise and socialism. I hope the president draws a clear distinction between rule of law and the Constitution versus anarchy and riots in the streets. And And I think last time, the president was clearly ready for a fight. He was energized, but I think a couple of times he jumped in and 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 saved Joe Biden from himself. I think I think we would have been better off if if he right. just let right. Joe talk a little bit, because the positions Joe is embracing are really out there, and and uh, the more we can do to highlight it, the better that right. is. I mean, we just talked about this yesterday, Senator Cruz. Nobody in this office, nobody in my research team, nobody out of the 15 people who work for Lyder Crowder knew that on Joe Biden's own website, under firearm safety, is he will ban all online sales of firearms, ammunition, kits, parts. That means if I want a grip adapter, that yeah. no one knows that. And it's surprising to me that none of the there will be no question seemingly in any of these debates about guns. And I think that that's obviously trying to stack the deck because if people in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin know how radical Joe Biden's firearm policy is, he loses them in a landslide. Do you think that's maybe the case here? I think that's right, but I think it's even more than that. Let me connect the two topics we started with, which, which is the debate and, and my book, One Vote Away. Right. So each chapter of the book is on a different constitutional right. 
if you read the chapter on the Second Amendment, it talks about the case Heller versus District of Columbia. Uh, that's the landmark Second Amendment case. It was decided 5-4. I helped litigate that case. Right. And, and in fact, the book is all war stories from helping litigate many of the big landmark cases of the court. But on Heller, the four dissenters, their position was not that some gun control is sometimes okay. Uh, reasonable minds can differ on that. We can have actually a, a reasonable conversation and debate on that topic. Right. The position of the dissenters was much more radical. It was that there is no individual right to keep and bear arms whatsoever, that it is merely a, quote, collective right of the militia, which means the federal government, the state government, the city can make it a crime, can make it a felony for you or for me to own a gun. Right. And under the dissenters' view of Heller, there'd be nothing we could do about it. We have no Second Amendment right. Joe Biden has promised to nominate Supreme Court justices who would overturn Heller. So if Joe Biden is elected, the Supreme Court will effectively erase the Second right. Amendment from the Bill of Rights. Yes. That's the kind of substance I, I hope we see in the debate tonight. Well, I don't know if we will, but I think it's important that uh, to note it's yeah, it's not about Heller versus D.C. wasn't a pistol grip versus tactical grip. It wasn't about some bump stock. It was about the right to own. So when people say, oh, I think I'm OK with revolvers or pump shotguns. No, no, that there you would have no right to own it. You'd have to have some kind of a sheriff or something, someone like that, some legislator or someone in local law enforcement allow you the basic right to self-preservation. Going back to the debate and then I do want to go ahead. Specific facts on it, Stephen. So Dick Anthony Heller, who's the plaintiff in Heller, is a federal police officer, lived in the District of Columbia. He carried a firearm at work. Um, under D.C. law, all pistols were illegal. So revolvers, any pistol was illegal no matter what. And any long gun, any shotgun or rifle was required to be disassembled and inoperative at all times with no exception. So literally, mm -hmm. if someone is breaking into your house, if you're a single mom and a crackhead is coming through the window to hurt your kids and you had a shotgun well, and you removed the trigger lock, you were committing a crime. Let's under not bring D Hunter Biden into this. I don't think he's breaking into anybody's house anytime soon. Hey, listen. Hey, come oh. on. Come on. That's not that's not hearsay. That's not gossip. <laughs> he's on camera smoking a crack pipe. All right. I have more credibility and I'm in a feathered boa. OK, uh, let's go back to the debate here. Woo -woo. You mentioned woo woo. Woo woo. Uh, you mentioned. Um, yeah, that, uh, that uh, you hope to see something more substantive. Now, I do want to talk about the commission and how biased it is and what we think we should do in elections going sure. forward. However, could it be an advantage for Joe Biden to be left alone with his thoughts for two minutes straight? It may be a blessing in disguise. Yes, if there's the give and take of, of questioning and, sure. and there has to be some back and forth. Because look, Joe Biden can memorize a couple of minutes and get it out. I mean, that's what he's doing all week is memorizing little set pieces where the debate is important. And I'm all for Trump counterpunching and engaging. I, I just hope he engages on substance and, and, and sort of just turns the temperature down a little bit and, and, and makes clear what, what Joe's radical policies are. Right. And speaking of radical, the uh, the moderator here, I want to make sure it's uh, Welker, Walker, Welker. I always get her name wrong. Uh, we went through a segment yesterday about her Democratic ties, some of the practices that she's uh, undertaken as a journalist. Um, she's moderated debates before. Should should American go, Americans go in with eyes wide open? Is she biased? And then is the commission biased, the commission for debates who changed the rules? Because I think a rule change was fair, but this was pretty extreme. Look. Of course she's biased. Of course the commission is a train wreck. Everyone on the commission is a never-Trumper, either the Democrats or the never-Trump Republicans. They're all voting for Joe Biden. And, and let me say more broadly, Republicans are idiots. <laughs> but, like, but like, if you look at debates, every single general election debate is moderated by a Democrat. What the hell is wrong with us? Like, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is moderated by a Democrat. And it's even worse than that, Stephen. In the presidential race, Republican primary debates are almost all moderated by Democrats. Right. The people moderating want everyone on the stage to lose. And every question <laughs> is designed to make everyone look like idiots. So I propose two very simple changes. Okay. Number one, for Republican primary presidential debates, the moderators should be people who actually intend to vote in a Republican primary. That's fair. So if you're not a Republican, 
Don't moderate a Republican primary debate because we want moderators who will actually ask questions that Republican primary voters give a damn about. Fair. Sec secondly, for the general elections, stop this ridiculous assumption that journalists are not partisans. We've seen Democrat after Democrat after Democrat. Instead of ignoring the bias, own it. And right. so have an explicitly conservative moderator and an explicitly liberal moderator. So imagine, for example, a, a debate moderated by Mark Levin and Rachel Maddow. Hmm. And everyone knows, look, Levin's going to ask tough questions and conservative questions the Democrat's not going to like. Maddow's going to ask liberal questions the Republican's not going to like. And that actually would be an interesting debate. Right. Uh, yeah, at least the people on stage wouldn't be the only ones trading barbs. It would be, you know, would you shut up, man? Hey, screw you. Ah, screw you, you dope. No, screw you. And you'd be like, which one's which? I don't even know anymore, but I'm enjoying it. Um, let me ask you. I think that's a good idea because people, this idea that there is inherently unbiased journalism, that's a lot. It, it's never the case. It, it would have to be predicated on the idea that human beings uh, can have no values. And if you have someone with no values that mean anything to them, well, not only should they not be moderating a debate, but they should be forced to, to walk the plank. Uh, you know, I think drawing and quartering is really under undervalued in today's society. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, uh, so I, I see that you're running for the Green Party with Republicans are idiots. The quartering. Um, <laughs> let me ask you this, too, as well. Uh, well, first, final question on the debate, and we're going to get to that really quick. What's your prediction? Who comes out the victor tonight, and how do you think it affects the election? I think Trump's going to do well. Um, I, I think Joe Biden... I don't think Biden is going to do well. I, 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 if we can avoid the fireworks and focus on substance, I think Trump wins tonight. Yeah, okay, I think you're right. And I also hope that uh, Joe Biden gets two minutes to himself and uh, then just Joe Biden's himself, you know, in two minutes. That's, that's the thing. Sometimes you give him enough rope. We saw that with the last debate. The one time he was asked a direct question, like you said, there has to be a give and take that's fair. The one time he was asked a direct question, which ironically only came from Donald Trump, which law enforcement yeah. agencies have endorsed you? Hamana, hamana, hamana. Um, so my final question is, uh, obviously, ACB is a conversation right now. She's probably going to be confirmed on Monday. You introduced a constitutional amendment to stop uh, or prevent any kind of court packing, uh, I would say, as a block to a potential Joe Biden presidency. But uh, he doesn't know. Will he? Won't he? Vote for him. Decide. He hasn't given his position. Uh, tell people what this is and why it's important. So Joe Biden tonight is going to deny again that he's going to pack the court. Kamala Harris has denied that, that, that they're going to pack the court. The reason they won't answer that question is because their answer is yes. Mm. That that. Senate Democrats, the radicals are in charge. They're angry. And if they win, they will pack the court. And what does it mean to pack the court? It means to increase the number of justices to put your partisans on the court. And so we've seen there have been nine justices on the Supreme Court for 150 years. We saw another Democratic president try to do this. FDR tried to do this at the height of his popularity, 1937. And his own party, the Democratic Party, he had huge majorities in both houses. They said no. They said it, it would politicize the judiciary. It would destroy the independence of the court. We're not going to do it. And the reason that today's Democrats, that Biden doesn't want to answer the question is because packing the court is incredibly unpopular. And so here's what they're doing, and you can listen to it tonight. The last two weeks, one of the ways we know that they're, that they're going to pack the court, A, if the answer was no, they'd say no, because right. it's that's overwhelmingly the more popular answer. But B, Democrats, the talking points have gone out that they're trying to redefine what it means to pack the court. So Joe right. Biden tonight, here's a prediction. He will say Donald Trump has been packing the court for four years. Right. By, now, by just is, actually having, you know, uh, conservative judges elected through the process that exists, which is totally uh, within precedent. It, it is ludicrous spin to say that a president nominating justices for vacancies is packing the court. That's not what packing no, the court. No, we're past ludicrous that, spin. It's spin plaid. It, but the re there's a reason. It's also spin that is revealing. It's like a tell in poker. The fact that they're trying to redefine packing the court is because they intend, if they win, to increase the court to 11 or to 13 and just jam a bunch of partisans there 
who will do what? Right. Who will take away the Second Amendment, who will take away our free speech, who will take away our religious liberty? You know, the book, One Vote Away, which, by the way, Stephen, I got, I got to give you a shout out to you. So when I last went went on on your show right before the debate and we talked about the book One Vote Away, it shot to the number one bestseller in the country on Amazon. Ooh. And and so. You know, I'm that would mean one, a whole lot I, to me if you weren't telling it to all the hosts who had you on. <laughs> but I do appreciate you making me. Look, I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm in politics. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, uh, I know. No, but I do. No, I appreciate it. And I think it's a very important book, One Vote Away, because a lot of people don't know the dissenting opinions historically are, are really just as important as the yay votes, especially when you're looking at actually packing the courts. And to be fair, Joe Biden may not have answered. Someone could have turned on the microwave in the green room and it made the plate go a little bit haywire. Uh, <laughs> The book is one vote away. We do have to get going. Senator Cruz, we appreciate you being here, and uh, I think we'll be seeing you on uh, on election night, if I'm not mistaken. That's going to be a marathon stream, a meat grinder. Senator Cruz, thank you so much, brother. We appreciate it. Excellent. God bless. We're going to be right back with more, hopefully. I'm going to pin this so it's not so revealing. Well, it's the night we've all been waiting for. Debate. Number two, I'm shaking in my boots. With me, as always, is Gerald A. and Audio Wade. What kind of fireworks can we expect tonight? Well, Stephen, the last debate was a debacle, but a lot has happened since then, and Trump has really been itching to have a second go at Ray B. Joe. That's right. First, there was COVID, and then the ill-fated Zoom debate, which the president nixed. I think we can really expect tonight to be... I'm getting word. It looks like former Vice President Joe Biden is actually arriving right now in his armored vehicle, looking confident as he exits, uh, if perhaps a little lost, but he's got to be feeling good about his prospects. Wait, wait a second. I'm, I'm getting worried that the commander-in-chief is already in the building. Oh, and man! Out. Talk about anticipation! I'm getting a thrill down my leg just watching this. Look at these two, man. These two dogs have been staring each other through the fence, and it is time to let the big dogs eat. Mom, it's time to let the doggies out the... Oh, my God, Mike! He just... Don't just hit the president! Oh, wait, and they, and they had my patch with a folding chair out of nowhere! And it looks like Kamala Harris is running shotgun. I'm seeing Kamala Harris... Oh, and a dinner tray to the... Oh, face. and she was handled like wait, a wait, child. No, 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 the president couldn't be the... The, the COVID stutter, I can't believe no. it. Yes, wildly. I can't believe Lola. my eyes, President Trump. Oh, my word. The game has changed. Ladies and gentlemen, you wanted a show tonight. Well, you certainly are going to have yourselves a show. I think we also uh, have uh, hit the notification bell, of course, uh, because uh, on YouTube subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. We have a big show tonight. Yeah, Lots going to be happening. Show. In studio with me, as always, is Quarter Black uh, Bear oh, here. Yes. Uh, Jake the <laughs> Snake Audio Wade is How's it here. Going? And then we have Token Allen, of course, on the uh, on the uh, on the thing there. He's over there. there he is. He's over there. And uh, I uh, <laughs> He's uh, really quick, we do have drinking game rules tonight. Can somebody yeah. bring up the drinking Got game him. rules really quickly? So excited. Okay, the drinking game rules. Read them for yeah, us, Audio Trump, Wade. If Trump gets a leading or unfair question, drops a thug life moment, says China, fake news. If finish your drink if Trump mentions Hunter Biden. Ooh. Let's see if that happens. Biden, if he gets a softball question, has a dementia moment, talks tough, or says, come on, man. If he says, come on, man, and you hear this sound, that means you drink. But I just realized it's actually, um, so all of you will be drinking along with us. We'll have costume contest yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. rules, really just WrestleMania themed. That's Send right. him in. You'll get a lock of Gerald Morgan's hair, who will be here soon. Yeah. But I don't have a mug. We don't have a drink. Oh, so yes. To... It's time for my oh. undertaker to come in. <laughs> what? You're un... Garrett, would you drink? Oh, there he is! He's here to bring the nectar! Oh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Undertaker. Wow. I appreciate it. Everyone else? Everyone oh, else yeah. Good? That's, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, we all need some, too. Thanks. We're all good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get everyone Actually, some. I'm, appreciate yeah, it. I'm, I'm all right. Thank you, though. Thank you. All right, we'll see you soon.
Well, that was a lot of work. Hey, can you do me a favor, Audio yeah. Actually, I do think I want program here. Oh, yeah, I can't absolutely. see anything. Uh, I wanted to read something for you guys really quickly. Bubba Linsky just had his press conference. Yes, he did. Uh, who was a business partner, he claimed, of Joe Biden. Right now, yeah. it's just blue and says field monitor. Uh, uh, be up. Okay, all right. Sorry, yeah. sorry, guys. We have a little bit of technical stuff here. It's hard to make yeah. something Bubba Linsky. this dynamic. Bubba Linsky. Uh, came out, presented a press conference where he said that he had proof he has more cell phones that he's going to be handing over to the FBI and he will be in the audience tonight from what I understand. He said that he had worked with Hunter Biden, uh, Joe Biden. It's not about Hunter Biden, it's about the leverage from Joe Biden and the fact that he was involved in this bu these business dealings. Mm. That's what he claimed there was a denial that was issued. So I'm going to read this from you. Just issued online in case right. you guys yep. have not read this yet. Against, uh, again, the promo code is CrowderMania. That's the hashtag. You get $30 off if you go to louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club. So um, so this is the the the, the dismissal, denial. the denial. Yeah, right. As Chris is. Wallace said on the air about this very smear, Vice President Biden has actually released his tax returns, unlike President Trump. But Erroneous. That's not a and there is denial? no indication he ever got any money from anybody in these business deals. Do well, that will remain to be seen. <laughs> Joe Biden we'll never see. even considered being involved in business with his family, nor in any overseas business whatsoever. Here's the thing. Mm. Don't go so extreme with it. Yeah. Like it's a guy saying, like, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. Really? She, got, where, she goes to another school. <laughs> okay, all right, so we don't know her. And she lives in Canada. What? And she has double Ds. What? And she was a, in Playboy. What? Really? The yeah. cover. <laughs> Listen, we can cross-reference that pretty quickly. Yeah. How many Canadians with double Ds who are still currently in high school were on the cover of Playboy? <laughs> Turns out none. So give yourselves yeah. an out, Biden. Yeah. Uh, he has never held stock in any such business arrangements, nor has the family member. Blah, 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 blah. What is true, this is from the Biden camp, is that Tony Bobulinski admitted on the record to Breitbart that he is angry. He was not able to get in business with Hunter and James Biden. Hold on a second. What business? He said there was no business. <laughs> it's like, I never even liked that chick. Real, what, what chick? She's the imaginary one. <laughs> this is the denial. <laughs> uh, wow. And they still have not Weak. denied the authenticity of the emails. They're just oh, right. thinking about stock. Yeah. Which, by the way, is something that everyone needs to know out there. Do, what happened to the Bernie bros? And we're gonna, I'm going to get into what I think should happen tonight or what will happen tonight. But the Bernie bros, big money in politics. Biden is the candidate of Wall Street of big banks, big media, big tech, Hollywood. Donald Trump has the coalition of working class, middle Americans, and yeah. law enforcement, military, and ironically, union members, not the union heads, because yeah. they have a contract with the Democrats effectively, a, a, non, a gentleman's contract, yeah. a gentle pricks contract oh, okay. with the Democrats, but the <laughs> people in the unions don't feel represented. So right. who's, who's, who's the Wall Street guy? Well, they're donating overwhelmingly to Joe Biden. Yeah. What do I think will happen tonight? We have CNN right now with a yeah. quadrant view. Um, look, I talked with Donald Trump Jr. I talked with Ted Cruz about this. I think there could be a real silver lining for Donald Trump. Hmm. Joe Biden having two minutes to himself. It's like, yeah, you know, Joe just, Rogan has those uh, sensory deprivation tanks. Yeah, yeah, sure. And he always says, you know, when you go in, like all of your bad thoughts kind of come back and you sort of have to work yeah, through them. Really it's almost them. like... Joe Biden being alone with himself for two minutes without <laughs> someone helping him might as well be an ayahuasca weekend for him. <laughs> like, this guy's going to get that handle loss, it. For sure. It's his own internal sweat lodge. So, I think that could be a good thing. And I think, like you, you were saying, uh, Audio yeah. Wade, that Donald Trump can at least use the theatrics if they mute his mic to his advantage. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think that all he needs to do at, at a certain point is just sort of point and be like, all right, well. Yes. This is what they're doing. This is their play. This Look is how they're going to try to control it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. and hands up, don't mute. <laughs> um, and, yeah. I think, and I think Donald Trump needs to come across as though he's having more fun. The Donald yeah. Trump that people love is the Donald Trump who laughed at Hillary Clinton. The Donald Trump who does the white guy at a white dad at a wedding dance. I like that. Yeah. That's fun with Donald Trump. And so last time he was angry, rightfully so. I think it's a good thing if he doesn't interrupt. Chill out. I think it's a good thing if he looks like he's having fun. I don't think it's a good thing that they removed foreign policy and national security, but oh, we no. know why, yeah. because right. Joe Biden is one of the only people who didn't want to kill bin yeah. Laden and is yeah. uh, and taking you know, part in policy that's led to more drone strikes than anyone. And Donald yeah. Trump has started us no new wars and the biggest peace treaty of our time with right. Israel and UAE. So, you know, yeah. climate change is at the top of everybody's mind after yeah. 2020. That's what everybody's well, thinking Biden about. Biden gets hot flashes. I don't exactly. know how he gets exactly. hot flashes. Men aren't supposed to have menopause. Well, you know, Joe Biden's <laughs> a creature. 
So yeah. I don't know. What do you he's, expect here, audio? Uh, so I think that Trump is definitely at his best when he's dealing with a hostile media. So he, we right. saw that with the Savannah Guthrie town hall. He thought, I thought he did a good job. I think everybody here thought he did yeah. a better job than in the past. Right. Uh, I think because that, she was a bully. She was exactly. so mean. She was exactly. so witchy with a B. Mm-hmm. That, uh, you know, w- yeah. witchy, bitchy woman. If I say it in a song, it's okay. Exactly. That Donald yeah. Trump Eagles. seemed like it was, he was justified. Right, absolutely. Yeah, and I think that if he waits for that sort of thing to happen here, I think that, yeah, again, making the face or sort of pointing out the selective muting, uh, which I think is probably going to happen. Yep. Uh, really quickly, With we're going to be welcome. talking about the Supreme Court fighting COVID-19, American families racing America, climate change, and they remove national security. Yeah, I yeah. think they're about to take the stage. Crowdermania yeah. is the hashtag. Everybody watch along and uh, send us your chats. We're going to be reading them after... Uh, oh. After the uh, show, yeah. once we go um, exclusively to Mug Club. If they stick to their plans, uh, each one of them could could make inroads, I think. But um, right that's now, Joe, a wild if, they're, yeah, if they I have mean, a return you know, feed the in the green Joe room, Biden Joe Biden just said, Shit, I gotta have a plan? <laughs> oh. Didn't expect that one. Oh, my word. Yeah. It would be so funny if he refuses to come out because there's no plexiglass. <laughs> it's <laughs> an unsafe and environment. And Donald Trump had hip pads because he was planning on checking him into the boards. <laughs> Well, he's immune. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he has a superpower, Donald Trump. That's the right. fact that Donald Trump... Yeah. Oh, by the way, remdesivir. Remdesivir? Is that is how it's pronounced? It? Yeah, remdesivir yeah, has just been yeah. approved by the FDA as a therapeutic. Think about this for a second. Donald Trump recovered in record time. People tried to say it was a hoax, that then he, he didn't really have coronavirus because yeah. he you know, suffered the symptoms that most people actually do. Yeah. He used experimental treatment. This man, actually, at this point, if you were to believe the media, these aren't approved by the FDA, and he's doing Operation Warp Speed, and he's going to grow a third nipple and kids with fish eyes. <laughs> and instead, he turned himself into a guinea pig for the American people, and now this is an FDA-approved treatment baller. that could help millions of yeah. people not only in the united states but hey rest of the world you're welcome you're welcome yeah. that we're coming yeah. up with these treatments and at least applications of treatments as well if we didn't actually create rems desivir which i think we actually did uh <laughs> and then of course the people who have a problem with it is the world health organization yeah when, when we first found out, found out that trump had corona everybody thought like oh this is really bad for him because he played it down for so long now he right. has it and then immediately afterward they were like oh he's just faking it to make himself look better of course he's just well, faking like, it. And you have like, to pick one and he touted unproven treatments and the fda is like actually we tested that shit it's proven. <laughs> and like, no. It's the why, best play. Why do you say no? Because the organization that, that works with China and supports Tedros and denies yeah. the existence of Taiwan, they said that it may cause a tummy ache. <laughs> oh, okay, but it's approved by the FDA. I thought you trusted science. Remdesivir is now approved by the FDA to help treat COVID-19. Okay? Yeah. Is that not a good thing? And Donald Trump, by the way, remember they said, only the kind of expensive treatment that a wealthy person, he wants yeah. to make it available to all to of everybody. you. He wants to make it free for everybody. For crying out loud, yeah. it, I just don't know how they're going to spin this outside of simply flat out denying it and saying that uh, uh, Vice President has actually released his tax returns. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Who cares if he's released his tax returns? Yeah. By the way, those aren't the taxes we want. You don't get to purchase your houses and your cars and, and live the lifestyle that you do with the taxes that you claim from years ago. We know that you, your son, Hunter Biden, it's not that Hunter Biden, it's not that there, there are these, these uh, 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 underhanded, seedy, underground, mm-hmm. disgusting uh, business dealings. It's that Hunter Biden is effectively a shell corporation for <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> right. It's not about Hunter. Yeah. It's about Joe Biden. Think of it's the leverage. That they, and you know what? You know that you believe me because you also understand that Billionaires are tougher to buy and sell if they have more money than you. Do you really think you're going to dangle a carrot with Donald Trump with 50 million bucks or, or, or a retainer of $184,000 a month? For crying out loud, yeah. he gets that. He got. He would get that when he was making an appearance with Arsenio Hall after Celebrity Apprentice, and that was with cutting down the price because Arsenio Hall was on the rider. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. I pe- <laughs> Shut up. We get it. We get it. You're more urban. Well, people have said that uh, Joe Biden, surely there's some kind of secret bank account or something, something we'll find. With some, it, it really is just Hunter. Hunter is the secret bank account. Yes, Hunter he is the secret bank He just keeps all the money over there. Yeah, and I know, and yeah. it, but it, also secret bank account, and not just that Hunter himself acted as a secret bank account for them, but his, his ass. He was a mule. Oh, Here we go. Like they're starting. Hey, it's the lady who has strong democratic ties and tipped off Hillary Clinton with questions for the campaign last time. Kirsten Welker, Kristen Welker. Welk this way. Between President Donald J. Trump and Don't you love how they tried to make her look a little more Joe ethnic, Biden. too? Tonight's debate is sponsored by the Commission <laughs> on Presidential Debates. It is conducted under health and safety protocols designed by the Commission's health security advisor. The audience here in the hall has promised to remain silent 
No cheers, boos, or other interruptions, except right now, as we welcome to the stage former Vice President Joe Biden and President Donald J. Trump. Oh, God. Virtue my mask right on. Let me take this mask off here. <laughs> Please, Donald Trump, just aerosol particles and like I you're the Joker a in the, good in the evening parade to with both Michael of you. This debate will cover six major topics. At the beginning of each section, each candidate will have two minutes uninterrupted to answer my first question. The debate commission will then turn on their microphone only when it is their turn to answer. And the commission oh, so will she doesn't turn have it power. off exactly when the two minutes have expired. After that, both microphones will remain on. But on behalf of the voters, I'm going to ask you to please speak one at a time. The goal is for Which you to voters? hear each other. Which and voters? Which voters? I said Savannah. To hear We're every word of what you both have to say. And so with that, if you're ready, let's start. And we will begin with the fight against the coronavirus. President Trump, the first question is for you. The country is heading into a dangerous new phase. More than 40,000 Americans are in the hospital tonight with COVID, including record numbers here in Tennessee. And since the two of you last shared a stage, 16,000 Americans have died from COVID. So please be specific. How would you lead the country during this next stage of the coronavirus crisis? Two minutes uninterrupted. So as you know, 2.2 million people modeled out were expected to die. We closed up the greatest economy in the world in order to fight this horrible disease that came from China. It's a <laughs> it worldwide Dang. pandemic. It's all over the world. You see the spikes in Europe and many other places right now. Uh, if you notice, the mortality rate is down 85 uh, percent. The excess mortality rate is way down and much lower than almost any other country. And we're fighting it and we're fighting it hard. There is a spike. There was a spike in Florida and it's now gone. There was a very big spike in Texas. It's now gone. There was a very big spike in Biden's Arizona. Asleep. It's now gone. And there are some spikes and surges in other places. They will soon be gone. We have a vaccine that's coming. It's ready. It's going to be announced within weeks and it's going to be delivered. We have uh, Operation Warp Speed, which is the military is going to distribute the vaccine. I can tell you from personal experience that uh, I was in the hospital. I had it. And I got better, and I will tell you that uh, I had something that they gave me, a therapeutic, I guess they would call it. Some people could say it was a cure. But uh, I was in for a short period of time, and I got better very fast, or I wouldn't be here tonight. And now they say I'm immune, whether it's four months or a lifetime. Nobody's been able to say that, but I'm immune. Uh, more and more people are uh, getting better. We have... Uh, a problem that's a worldwide problem. This is a worldwide problem. But I've been congratulated by the heads of many countries on what we've been able to do uh, with the if you, if you take a look at what we've done in terms of goggles and masks and gowns and everything else. And in particular, ventilators, we're now making ventilators to replenish the stockpile all over the world. that Obama thousands and Biden depleted. And thousands so good. Good contrast. Good start. All over the world. It will go away. And as I say, we're rounding the turn. We're rounding the corner. It's going away. OK, former Vice President Biden, to you, how would you lead the country out of this crisis? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Watch for the reactions too. 220,000 Americans dead. If you got nothing else I say tonight. Hear this. Anyone who's responsible for not taking control, in fact, not saying I'm, I take no responsibility initially. Not Anyone who's responsible for that many deaths should not remain as president of the United States of America. Dementia moment. We're in a situation where there are a thousand deaths a day now, a thousand deaths a day, and there are over 70,000 new cases per day. Compared to new positive what's tests. going on in Europe, Different. As the New England Medical Journal said, they're starting from a very low rate. We're starting from a very high rate. The expectation is we'll have another 200,000 Americans dead between now and the end of the year. If we just wore these masks, the president's own advisors have told him, we could save 100,000 lives. And we're in a circumstance where the president thus far and still has no plan. 
By the way, that's no not a scientific study, plan. so I hope that what gets fact-checked by Facebook sure and Twitter. What I would do is make sure we have everyone encouraged that mask, to wear a mask unless washed in a commercial washing sure machine that gets hot enough, does nothing. It makes it worse. Fact-check me, YouTube. Find me one study that says his shitty little mask, his shitty little house on the prairie head dress, unwashed, worn on his beady little face, helps anything. There's no science. We're in a situation now where the New England Medical Journal, one of the serious, most serious journals in the, in the whole world, said for the first time ever that this, the way this president has responded to this crisis has been absolutely tragic. And so, folks, I will take care well, of this. Some doctors I will and this. Said it. I will make sure we have a plan. President Trump, I'd like to follow up with you and your comments. You talked about taking a therapeutic. I assume you're referencing Regeneron. You also said a vaccine will be coming within weeks. Yes. Is that a guarantee? Is, no, it's not is, a guarantee, but it will be by oh, the end of the year. Leading question right away. Trying to lock down. Trying to lock down Biden. Anything? I think within a matter of weeks, and it will be distributed very quickly. Can you tell us which companies? Uh, Johnson & Johnson is doing very well, Moderna is doing very well, Pfizer is doing very well, and we have numerous others. Then we also have others that we're working on very closely with other countries, in particular Europe. Let me follow up with you, and because this is new this information, is the fourth you have now. the vaccine is coming soon, within weeks now. Your own officials say it could take well into 2021 at the earliest for enough Americans to get vaccinated. And even then, they say the country will be wearing masks and distancing into 2022. Is your timeline realistic? No, I think my timeline is going to be more accurate. I don't know that they're counting on the military the way I do, but we have our generals lined up, one in particular that's the head of logistics. And this is a very easy distribution for him. He's ready to go as soon as we have the vaccine. And we expect to have 100 million vials as soon as we have the vaccine. He's ready to go. Vice Good. President Biden, your Four reaction cornering to follow-up questions to Trump. Let's see if she does that with Biden. They would definitely yeah. agree to take a coronavirus vaccine if it was approved by the government. What steps would you take to give Americans The Democratic Party is a party of anti-vaxxers. They won't take the vaccine. Sure they politicize totally it. Transparent. Have the scientists all here. see it, know it, look at it. Go through all the processes. And by the way, he's, this is the same fellow who told you this is going to end by Easter last time. This is the same fellow who told you that, don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about no, to go into a said dark winter. it could go winter, away like a miracle. A dark winter. And he has no clear plan, and there's no prospect that there's going to be a vaccine fear, available fear, for Fear, 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 hopelessness, unless you vote for him. For America, great, 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 great progress. Right, no right. Hope, have a hopelessness, winter. fear, and, dark winter. Yeah. We're opening up our country. We've learned and studied and understand the disease, which we didn't at the beginning. When I closed and banned China from coming in heavily infected, and then ultimately Europe, but China was in January. What's that little smirk Months later, Biden, he was saying I was xenophobic. Catch a whiff of a six-year-old off stage. Now saying, oh, <laughs> I, should have, uh, I should have, you know, moved quicker. But he didn't move quicker. He was months behind me, many months behind me. Yeah. And frankly, he ran the H1N1 swine flu, and it was a total disaster, far less lethal. But it was Good. a total Good disaster. To had that had this kind of numbers... 700,000 people would be dead right now, but it is a far less lethal disease. Uh, look, his own person who ran that for him, who, as you know, was his flu. Uh, chief of staff, said it, it was, was catastrophic. It was horrible. I we it. didn't know what we were doing. Now he comes up and he tells us how to do this. Also, everything that he said about the way every single move that he said we should make that's what we've done. We've done all of it. But he was way behind us. Vice President Biden, your response? My response is he is xenophobic, but not because he shut down access from China. And he did it late after 40 countries had already done that. In addition to that, what he did, he made sure that we had 44 people that were in there in China trying to get to Wuhan to determine what exactly the source was. What did the president say in January? He said, no, he said, this is, he's being transparent. The president of China is being transparent. We owe him a debt of gratitude. We, ought to, we have to thank him. And, and then what happened was, we started talking about using the Defense Act. Cuomo and to Pelosi sure told people to go to Chinatown and movie theaters <laughs> in March. And in again, March, I go back ass to hat. This. He had nothing, he did and you weren't anywhere. nothing. And yeah. then he gets out of the hospital and he talks about, We're, this is, oh, don't worry, it's all gonna be over soon. Come on. 
There's not okay. another serious scientist is. in the world who thinks it's going to be over soon. President Trump, your reaction? I say over soon. I say we're learning to live with it. We have no choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement like Joe does. He has the, <laughs> he has the ability <laughs> to lock himself up. I don't oh, know. He's obviously is. made a lot of money someplace. Oh, that's good. But he has this thing about living in a basement. People can't do that. By the way, I, as the president, <laughs> couldn't do that. I'd love to put myself in the basement or in a beautiful room in the White House and go away for a year and a half until beautiful it disappears. Room. I can't do that. And Kirsten, every, t every meeting I had, every meeting I had, and I'd meet a lot of families, including Gold Star families and military families, every meeting I had, and I had to meet them. I had to. It would be horrible to have canceled everything. I said, you know, this is dangerous. And you catch it. And, you know, I caught it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Great doctors, great hospitals. And now I recovered. 99.9 of young people recover. 99% of people recover. We have to recover. We can't close up our nation. We have to open oh, our schools, and we can't close up our nation, or you're not going to have a nation. And of course, the CDC has said young people can get sick with COVID-19 and well. can pass it. Yeah, Vice President well. Biden, I want to talk broadly about strategy, really though. Put you your fake thumb down. 30 seconds, please, and then seconds. I have a question. No, number one, he says that we're, uh, you know, we're learning to live In with your it. pants. People are learning to die with it. You folks home will have an empty chair Come at the on. kitchen table this morning. That man or wife going to bed tonight and reaching over he to try to touch He sees an their, empty crutch out of by the fireplace. The was, is gone. Fuck off. Learning to live with it. Come on. <laughs> We're dying with it. Because Sorry, he's pardon, never pardon said, just... see, he said it's dangerous. When's the last time? Has anyone heard really a glimmer of hope still? from Biden? We dangerous? Not one. Tell them Nothing but fear. America's crap. President's crap. And you say, people are learning I to die. No you would think that this was, uh, everyone was catching mass over, cancer. I take yeah. full responsibility. It's not my fault that he came here. It's China's fault. And you know what? It's yeah. not Joe's fault that he came here either. It's China's fault. They kept it from going into the rest of China for the most part. True. But they didn't keep it from coming out to the world, including Europe and ourselves. Vice President Biden. The fact is that when we knew it was coming, when it hit, what happened? What did the president say? You said to go to movie theaters. He in said, Chinatown. "Don't worry, it's going to go away. Be gone by Easter. Don't worry. The warm weather. Don't worry." In Maybe March, inject bleach. your he party said, said "Go to movie theaters in Chinatown," and Fauci was talking about cruises. Of things the president has said. Even they can bring today, that up as an overlay in case you doubt. We are yeah. in control. Doubt your senses. We're about to lose two hundred thousand more people. President Trump. Look, perhaps just to finish this. I was kidding on that, but just to finish this, uh, when I closed, he said, I shouldn't have closed. And that went on for months. What Nancy Pelosi said the same thing. She True. was there dancing on the streets is. in Chinatown in San Francisco. Someone thought when I closed, he said, this is a terrible thing, you xenophobic. I think he called me racist even, and because I was closing it to China. Now he says I should have closed it earlier. It just, Joe, it doesn't work. I didn't say either of those things. You certainly did. You certainly did. I he talked did. about a xenophobia in a different context. It wasn't about closing the border to Chinese coming to the United States. All right, I want to talk about both of your different strategies. Just happened to, to be the day of and in response to Donald Trump's statement. Well, that's obvious. Is that, do you want to respond to that quickly, Vice President? No. Biden? Okay. Let's talk about your different <laughs> strategies toward dealing no, with No, because I Mr. forgot Vice what President, he said. You suggested you would support new shutdowns if That's what they do. They call someone racist and xenophobic, and then no What do you say to Americans who are yep. fearful that yeah. the cost of shutdowns, the impact on the economy, the higher rates of hunger, depression, domestic and substance abuse outweighs the risk of exposure to the virus? What I would say is I'm going to shut down the virus, not the country. It's his ineptitude that caused what? the virus, How? caused the what country specific? to have to shut down in Drink, large by the way, part. Talking tough. Why businesses have gone under, why schools are okay. closed, really why quickly, so many people have lost their Really quickly, because he's answering with nothing, and I know we don't want to get hit with a copyright. Those but notice when she asked Donald Trump, she said, what's the timeline on the uh, vaccine? Can course, you guarantee it? Who's going to do it? Which companies? Very specific. There have been no specific answers from Biden and no follow-ups from Biden. I'm going to shut down the virus. If that were Donald Trump, how? With vaccines? With Who's going to make it? What's the timeline? Can you guarantee it? I'm not shutting down the name, but there are, look, they need standards. The standard there is, is if you there have you a reproduction rate in a community that's above a certain level, everybody says, slow up. 
more social distancing. Who's ever heard slow up? Do not slow open down? Slow bars up. and do not open gymnasiums. Do not Speed open down. until you get this under control. That's hold up. Under slow more down. Control. Simmer up. But when you do open, give the people the capacity to be able to open uh, and I have want to the build the economy down. Do it safely. For example, <laughs> schools. Schools, they need a lot of money to open. They need to deal with ventilation systems. They need to deal with smaller classes, more teachers, more pods. And he's refused to support that money, or at least up to now. Let's talk about schools. President well, Trump, I, I think you? we what? have to respond, if I might. Support Please. a school and choice, dumbass. Thank you. You just threw money that. at it. Look, all he does is talk about shutdown. He's but being very about polite. Him. His yeah. Democrat I'm governors, liking. Cuomo in New York. You look at what's going on in California. You look at Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Democrats, Democrats all, they're shut down so tight and they're dying. They're dying. And he supports all these people. All he talks about is shutdowns. No, we're not going to shut down, and we have to open our schools. And it's like, as an example, I have a young son. He also tested positive. By the time I spoke to the doctor the second time, he was fine. It just went away. Young people. I guess it's their immune system. Let me follow up with you, President Trump. You've demanded schools open in person and insist they Another can do it safely. For Trump. But just Another follow-up no from Boston specifics for Biden. Boston became the latest city to wow. move its public school system entirely it's online a softer after bias, a coronavirus but it's actually spike. more pervasive. What is your message yeah. to parents who worry that sending their children to school will endanger not only their kids, but also their teachers and okay. families? Well, the parents should follow science, schools. sweetheart. Uh, the transmittal rate to the teachers is uh, very small, but I want to open the schools. We have to open our country. We're not going to have a country. You can't do this. We can't keep this country closed. This is a massive country with a massive economy. People are losing their jobs. They're committing suicide. There's depression, alcohol, drugs at a level it's that nobody's fact. ever seen before. There's abuse, tremendous abuse. We have to open our country. You know, I've said Especially it often. The cure yeah. cannot be worse than the problem itself. And that's what's happening. And he wants to close down. He'll close down the country. By the way, you know who's against closed downs, lockdowns? Our, the World Health Organization. And now Fauci, you know he was for them. Now, ah, I never said lockdowns. I'm sure you did, Vice President Biden, your response. Simply not true. We ought to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. We ought to be able to safely open. But would they need resources to here. open? You need to be Macho able Man to, for Gerald example, Day. if you're going to open a business, we can't see have you. social distancing within the business. You need to have, if you have a restaurant, you need to have plexiglass dividers so people cannot infect one That's another. him bitching you about there not being plexiglass in the debate. You need to be in a position where you can debate. take the testing hell? rapidly Look. and know whether a person is, in fact, infected. You need to be able to trace. You need to be able to provide the, all the resources that are needed to do this. And that is not inconsistent with saying that... What you've missed is three, what, four, five... We're going to make sure that we can open safely. Yeah. And by the way, all you teachers out there, not that many of you are going to die, so don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. But if that's true, why shouldn't President you say Trump, let me it? Follow up with you quickly. By the way, I will say this. If come you on. go and look at what's said, happened come on, to New York, yeah. Yeah. it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. And when you talk about plexiglass, these are restaurants that are dying. These are businesses with no money. Because Putting up plexiglass is unbelievably expensive. Well, Biden and it's keeps not trying to interrupt the and get in. I mean, you're going to sit there in a cubicle wrapped around with plastic. It's, these are businesses <laughs> that are dying, Joe. You can't do that to people. You Which just you can. can't. Take a look at New York and what's happened yeah. to my wonderful city for, for so many years. I loved it. It was vibrant. It's dying. Everyone's leaving New York. Take a look Vice at President what New Biden. York has done in terms of the, turning the curve down in terms of the number of people dying. More deaths per capita than anywhere on does. Earth. Blue states. Yep. That'd be like states. saying, yeah, look at the what the leprosy states. pit and did. look at the states that are having such what? a spike. They killed all the lepers. The coronavirus. They're the red states. They're the states in the Midwest. They're the states in the upper Midwest. That's where the spike is occurring significantly. But they're oh, all the upper, Americans. Mean like, they're all are we talking about Americans. Michigan? And what we have to do is say, Michigan, oh, no, Pennsylvania, no, these masks, 68% oh, yeah. nursing Make homes. Sure Why don't we talk about that? that New York did well. Pennsylvania did well. Michigan did well. New Jersey did well. Let's compare it to, say, Texas. Come on now. The, the blue states President have the worst economies and they have the worst death rates. It's not even close. You can bring it up as an overlay. 11,000 people in nursing homes. President Trump, what about say spike take a look at what's happening in pennsylvania where they've well, had it close take a look at what's happening with your friend in michigan where You're her husband's the only one allowed to do anything it's been like a prison now it was just ruled it's unconstitutional like, like a prison take a look at north carolina <laughs> so much they're red. having spikes and they've been closed and they're getting killed financially we can't let that happen joe you can't let that happen we have to open up 
And we understand the disease. We have to protect our seniors. We have to protect our elderly. We have to protect especially our seniors with heart problems and diabetes problems. And we will protect them. We have the best testing in the world by far. People like That's Joe. That's why we have so many cases. Let me follow up with you <laughs> before we move on to our next section. President Trump, this week you called Dr. Anthony Fauci the Another nation's follow-up. best known infectious disease expert, quote, a disaster. You described him and other medical experts as, quote, idiots. If you're not listening to them, Best who are you known. listening to? Let, let me, like this? I'm listening to all of them, including Anthony. I get along very well with Anthony. But he did Leading say, question, drink. don't sure. wear masks. Hashtag Crowdermania. Crowdermania is a promo code. Know, this is not going to be a off. Uh, I think he's a Democrat, but that's okay. He Plus said this is not going to be a problem. We are not going to have a problem a at all. When Joe says that I said... Anthony Fauci said, and others, and many others, and I'm not knocking him a lot, nobody knew. Look, nobody knew what this thing was. Nobody knew where it was coming from, what it was. We've learned a lot. But Anthony said, don't wear masks, now he wants to wear masks. Anthony also said, if you look back, exact words, here's his exact words. This is no problem, this is going to go away soon. So he's allowed to make mistakes. He happens to be a good person. Vice President right. Biden, your response quickly, and then we're going to move on Very to the next section. Very gracious from Donald Trump. Is that because Fauci's think about a piece of what shit. The president knew in January and didn't tell the American people. He was told this was a serious virus that spread we in the air. We can fact check Biden on anything, sweetheart. Than, anything. Much worse. No. Yeah. Anything at all. Look, I've got the timeline. Can you just say Donald Trump knew in January and didn't do anything? Where's the timeline here, uh, Gibby? I thought you put fact, the... Okay. January 31st announced the Chinese travel restrictions and declared it a public health emergency. Americans don't panic. Your people said go to Chinatown as far as March. The New York Times the other day that, in fact... How about a follow-up, Kristen Welker? This is a really dangerous thing. Won't happen. And a memo How about a follow-up, Ms. Abercrombie from Ethnic? But from some of the brokers said, <laughs> sell short because we got to get moving. It's a dangerous problem. Well, this is I'm going to give you 30 seconds to respond, and then we're going to move Wall Street one, I don't know. Somebody went to Wall Street. You're the one that takes all the money from Wall Street. I don't take it. Boom! You have raised a lot of money, tremendous amounts of money. And every time you raise money, deals are made, Joe. I could raise so much more money as president and as somebody that knows most of those people. I could call the heads of Wall Street, the heads deny of it, every Joe. company deny in America. You don't get more Wall I would money. blow away do every record, but do I don't want to do deny that it, Joe. because do it puts me in a deny bad it. position. Straight through those and then you bring ironically up Wall Street. You be I don't up know why you pay for them because you're the one that takes the money from Wall Street, not me. My I, I could blow away your records. <laughs> that, like you wouldn't believe. We don't need money. We have plenty of money. In fact, we, got plenty of money. we beat Hillary Clinton with a tiny fraction of the money that she was able to. All right, gentlemen, we're going to move on. Don't tell me about average contribution, gonna... $43. All right, we're going to move <laughs> on to our <laughs> next <laughs> section, average. which is national security. No. And I do want to start no. with the security no of our elections and some breaking news from overnight. Just last night, Top intelligence officials confirmed again that we're asking Russia about Donald Iran Trump are working to in a recorded call calling Fauci an Both idiot, and we're not asking US Joe Biden where his money comes from. No, say, please, man. This is worse than Chris Wallace, and I hate Florida that it won't voters. get as much outrage this as Chris Wallace because the Mr. outrage Vice machine President, on the right do do doesn't put spot. This, this is far more subversive. This is far worse because people don't even know what they're watching. And I ask everyone else to take the pledge. I made it clear that any country, no matter who it is, that interferes in American elections will pay a price. They will pay a price. What price? And it's been overwhelmingly clear this election, is I'm Facebook even a country? Into the last one, this election, <laughs> that Russia has been involved, China has been involved to some degree, and now we learn that that uh, that uh, Iran is Iran, because he wants you. They will pay a price. He wants you since they line elected, their, you line their pockets with, with billions. American sovereignty. That's Give a what's follow going up, on Kristen. right now. They're interfering Give a with American well, sovereignty. Yeah, the who's, my who's Iran backing? Said anything to Who got about the it. official Ayatollah fatwa endorsement, I Joe? I don't know why he hadn't said a word to prove about it. Paid a price. And I don't know what he has recently they said, if anything, to the Iranians. My guess is he'd probably be more outspoken with regard to the Iranians. But the point is this, folks. We are in a situation where we have foreign... <laughs> company countries trying to interfere in the outcome of our election his own own national security advisor told him that what is happening with his buddy well i won't i should well i will his buddy Rudy giuliani he's being used as a russian pawn he's being fed information that is russian that is not true 
And then, do you what know happens? why he's? Do you know why happens. he's tripping up? You, you know why he's tripping up? Because he doesn't want to legally be on the hook here. here. Uh, he cannot say Russia the emails are not real. Sure <laughs> the easiest thing would be right now for Joe Biden and his beady little doll shark, soulless eyes to say those emails are not real. He spoke broadly with Russian disinformation not being true. Kristen Welker, if you do not ask him about those emails, point blank, are they authentic or not? You deserve to be fired. He brought it up. Activities that are trying to destabilize all of NATO. I don't know why he doesn't do it, but it's worth asking the question, why isn't that being done? Any country that interferes with us will, in fact, pay a price because they're affecting our sovereignty. President Trump, same question to you. Let me, let me ask the yes. question. You're going to have two minutes yes. to respond. For two elections in a row now, there has been substantial interference from foreign adversaries. What would you do in your next term um, to put an on. end to this? Two minutes under- well, let me respond to the first part as Joe answered. Joe got three and a half million dollars from Russia, and it came through Putin because he was very friendly with the former mayor of Moscow, and it was the mayor of Moscow's Uh-oh. wife. And you got three and a half million <laughs> dollars. True. Your we family got three and a half million dollars. And you know, someday you're going to have to explain why did you get three and a half. I never got any money from Russia. I don't get money from Russia. Now, about your thing last night, I knew all about that. And through John, who is John Ratliff, who is fantastic, DNI, he said the one thing that's common to both of them, they both want you to lose because there has been nobody tougher to Russia with between the sanctions. Yep. Nobody tougher than me on Russia. Absolutely. Between the sanctions between all of what I've done with NATO, you know, I've got the NATO countries to put up an extra 130 billion going to $420 billion a year. That's to guard against Russia. I sold, while he was selling pillows and sheets, I sold tank busters <laughs> to Ukraine. There has been nobody tougher Mike Lindell. Hey. on Russia than Donald Trump. <laughs> That's my and record. I'll tell you, they were so That's bad. They it. took over the, the submarine port. You remember that very well. During he your doesn't. Cry term, me during you and know. Barack Obama, they took over a big part of what should have been Ukraine. You handed it to them. But you were getting a lot of money from Russia. They were paying you a lot of money, and they probably still are. But now, with what came out today, it's even worse. All of the emails, the emails, the horrible emails of the kind of money that you were raking in, you and your family. And Joe, you were vice Ask president him. when some of this was Are happening. those emails false? And it should have never happened. And I give think him you the rope. owe an explanation Someone give to him the, the American rope. people. Please. Why is it? Somebody just had a news conference a little while yeah, ago who is. was essentially supposed to work with you and your family. But mm. what he said was damning. And regardless of me i think you have to clean it up and talk to the american people maybe you can mm. do it right now <laughs> vice president biden oh. you may respond and then i do I, want to follow up on the election security i have not taken a penny from any foreign source ever in my life we learned that this president uh, paid 50 times the tax he's not going to answer china, see you in court. A secret bank account with china does business in china and in fact is talking about me taking money I have not taken a single penny from any country whatsoever, ever. Number oh. one. <laughs> Number two, Six the Mr. President, I have released all of my tax returns. 22 years. Answer. That's Go the look same at talking point. 22 years of wow. my tax returns. Yeah, but are the emails real, Joe? Released Irrelevant. Yeah. I don't give a rat's ass if, if, if you're one of the least what successful businessmen in government. Which, by the way, only? is why the you support lockdowns or shutting down businesses to 25%. Do you think a restaurant can operate at 25% capacity with plexiglass? He has no idea because he's suckled at the government teach for his entire life. Donald Trump knows you can't operate at 25% capacity. It's not the new normal because it cannot be sustained. He's full of shit. He's not answering. If Kristen Welker doesn't a- ask Trump, him, are the emails authentic? This is a I show. called my accountants. He didn't answer. Underwrote it. Didn't I'm going to answer. release them as soon as we can. I want to do it. And it will show how successful, how great this company is. But much more importantly than that, people were saying $750. I asked them a week ago. I said, what did I pay? They said, sir, you prepaid tens of millions of dollars. I prepaid my tax. Tens over the last number of years. Tens of millions of dollars I prepaid because at some point they think What's it's an estimate. What's that little Michael Landon smirk, have to pay Joe? Tax. So I already prepaid it. Nobody told me that. Did your account Nobody tell told you, you, you that. Excuse them? me. And it wasn't written whenever they no. write this. They keep talking about $750, which you think me. is a Drink. filing think thing. There. But let me just tell you, <laughs> I prepaid millions and millions of dollars in taxes. Number one. Number two, I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. <laughs> You do. I don't make money from Russia. 
You made three and a half million dollars, Joe, and your son gave you. They even have a statement that we have to give 10 percent to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't oh. know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10 percent to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? It's terrible. All right, Joe, I have to ask you some questions I have about to all of this. But I'm going to let you respond. both respond very Say you're quickly. not the big man. You're you the little man. You spoke to your accountant yes. about potentially releasing your taxes. Did he tell you when you can release them? Do you it's have a the deadline for when you're going to release them? I get American treated people? worse than the Tea Party got treated because I have a lot have of people in there. Okay. Deep down in the IRS, they treat me horribly. We made a deal. It was all settled until I decide to run for president. I get treated very badly by the IRS, very unfairly. But we had a deal all done. As soon as we're completed with the deal, I want to release it. But I have paid millions and millions of dollars, and I, it's worse than paying. I paid in advance. It's called prepaying your taxes. Okay. I paid in advance. I want to ask you both about like a questions regarding farm plan, your like potential cricket. foreign entanglements and questions that have been raised to give you both a chance to, <laughs> to, to talk about this mobile. more broadly. Respond very quickly, and then I'll get to my question. Why did he, he's been saying this for four years? Show us. Just show us. Stop playing around. Dodge You've been saying Dodge. For four I years thought you were going to hold his feet to the fire, Nobody Walker. Nobody knows, Mr. Come President. What now. they do know is you're not paying your taxes man. or you're paying taxes that are so low. When last time right, he said folks, what he paid, Undertaker, I'm going to need a refill. Make this one a little stronger, I'm please. Smart. please. I know how to game the system. Oh. Come on. Come on, folks. So, hey, come on, President drink. Trump, and then drink. I want to get to I'll the questions ice. to both of you. Sure. I was put through a phony witch hunt. Oh. For three years. It started before I even got elected. They spied on my campaign. No president should ever have to go through what I went through. Let me just say this. Mueller. What is Kristen Welker doing? Angry saying, Let me say Democrats. This. What is she mad about saying this? We know the that they spied in this campaign. That's not in doubt. That's not in question. Right. They went through Why does he have to tell her to let him speak? Including my tax returns. And they found absolutely no collusion and nothing wrong. 48 million. I guarantee you, if I spent 1 million on you, Joe, I could find plenty wrong. Because right. the kind of things that you've done and the yeah. kind of monies that your family has taken, I mean, your brother made money in Iraq, me millions of dollars. Your other bro brother made a fortune. And it's all through you, Joe. And they say you get some of it. And Biden's you do live brother? very well. You have houses Mata all over fucker. the place. You live very well. All right, gentlemen, let me just ask oh, some dude. questions about all of this broadly. Oh, Vice man, President drink. Biden, there have oh, been questions about the work your son has done in that's China. That's when he's lying. For a Ukrainian yeah. energy company when you were vice president. Play poker with in Biden. Oh, man, he's bluffing. Is anything about those relationships inappropriate or unethical? Nothing was unethical. Here's what the deal. What about inappropriate? With regard to Ukraine, we had this whole question about whether or not, because he was on the board. Thank of you, sir. Thank you. Here, Charisma, let me give you the uh, a company oh, yeah. that yeah. somehow I had done something wrong. Sorry, you didn't quite Yet get your every intro. Every single there. solitary yeah. person when he was going through his impeachment. Yes. Testifying Bye. under oath to work for him said, I did my job impeccably. I carried out U.S. policy. Not one single solitary thing was out of line. Not a single thing, number one. Number two, the guy who got in trouble in Ukraine was this guy trying to bribe the Ukrainian government to say something negative about me, which they would not do and did what? not do because what it the never hell is he talking about? ever. Red the happened. bandit is on here. Is there My any reason this is not totally fabricated and new? In terms of this she should thing follow about, up on that. Uh, what? what are you talking about? China. I have not had a, the only guy. Christian, welcome. Your follow up to Joe Biden is this be. guy. He's the only one. Huh? Nobody else has made money from China. <laughs> Never President Trump, let me, let me ask way, my question to you. But could I just we'll one, one thing? Very quickly. His son didn't have a job for a long time, was sadly no longer in consider the military crack service. Rocks. I won't get into that. And he didn't have a job. As soon as he became vice president, Burisma, not the best, look, not the best reputation in the world. I hear they paid him $183,000 a month. Reputation like Listen yours. 183, and they gave him a three million dollar upfront payment. All right, and he had no I'm, energy. I'm going to let the vice president That's respond to that quickly, and then I need to get to a question to you. Very no quickly, basis for president. that. Everybody investigated that. No one said anything he did was wrong in Ukraine. Okay, President Trump, nope. this is for you. Since you Incorrect. took office, nope. you've never divested from your business. The guy who you worked with you just before this, who said there was, and he just handed over laptops week, and cell phones. Which was referenced, does indicate that your company has a bank account in China. So how can voters oh, know that God. you don't have any foreign conflicts of interest? What? I have many not bank ask. accounts, and they're all listed, and they're all over the place. I yeah. mean, Drink, I was a businessman doing business. The bank account you're referring to, which is everybody knows about it, it's listed. 
The bank account was in 2013. That's what it was. It was opened and do it was closed in 2015, I believe. And then I decided because I was going to do I was thinking about doing a deal in China like millions of other people. I was thinking about it and I decided I'm not going to do it. Didn't like it. I decided not to do it. Had an account open and I closed it. Okay. Excuse me. And then unlike him done. where he's vice president and he does business I then decided to run for president after that. That was before. So I closed it before I even ran for president, let alone became president. Big difference. He is the vice president of the United States, and his son, his brother, and his other brother are getting rich. They're like a vacuum cleaner. They're so Okay, <laughs> President Trump, thank you. We do need to move true. on. I do want to ask My you, uh, vice son president Biden, a My son is not a vacuum China. cleaner. Let's he does not suck. China more broadly. He blows. Have, of oh, course, he blows. President Trump has said that they should nah, his banging uh, 10 gram crack rocks makes Charlie Sheen look like droopy eyed armless children. If but <laughs> he is not a Kirby. Pay, and please be specific. He, what like he, that like. he does what blow. What I think China do is play by the international rules. I think not I like he has that. done. He has caused the deficit of China to go up, not down with China. Up, not down. We are making sure that in order to do business in China, you have to give all your intellectual property. You have to get a, have a partner in China is 51%. We would not do that at all, number one. Number two, we're in a situation where China would have there to play There has never the been more intellectual well. property theft in when the history of the United States and under the Obama and, administration. And, uh, when period. I was still vice president, Ever. he said we're setting up air identification zones in the, Ask in that, the South Welker. China Sea. You can't fly through them. Ask, any, said, ask that or do you feel bad for him because he already pooped his defense? Come on, ask true. that. Intellectual property theft. Ask about TPP. Ask about the about NAFTA versus the United States-Mexico agreement, Canada agreement. Ask. North Korea and the Chinese president and Putin and others, and he pokes his finger in the eye of all of our friends, all of our allies. We make up only, we're you mean like 25%. Israel? What'd you do for them? 25%. You gave Iran money, you want to wipe out the face yeah, of the map. Yeah, Donald Trump signed the greatest the peace treaty that we've seen in our lifetime. What did you do with our allies? These are the rules. Yeah. You oh, play by them or you're you going to pay the you, price you, for not paying You by had a, a key swapping party that's with Trudeau when you're out. It. Okay. And that's what we did in upholding steel tariffs and a range of other things when we were president and vice president. All right, let's talk about North Korea. Let me know after you respond to that. Okay. Very quickly. Very nice. Half dollars from China to manage after spending. 10 minutes in office and being in Air Force Two, number one. Number two, there's a very strong email talking about your family wanting to make $10 million a year for introductions. President Trump, on China policy, True. though, what no, specifically no, but are you going to do? That is about introductions to, to foreign to entities, sweetheart. First of all, them pay. China is paying. They're paying do you have a globe and billions or a map? Of dollars. I just Kristen? Gave New sanctions? Dollars. New sanctions? I just gave $28 billion to our farmers. Taxpayers' China, money. It's oh, what? Taxpayers you're concerned money. with taxpayer you know, money. Yeah, you know who the taxpayer is? It's called China. China paid $28 billion. <laughs> 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 They devalued their currency, and they also Why paid up. Mic on? And you know who got the money? Our farmers, our great farmers, because they were targeted. Yep. You never charged them anything. Also, I charged them 25% on dumped steel because they were killing our steel industry. We were not going to have a steel industry. Okay. And now we have a steel Let industry. Okay. Vice President Biden, your response, please. Our response is, look, this isn't about... Re there's a reason Our response why is, look, huh? bringing oh, look. up all this Drink, malarkey. Look. Malarkey. There's a reason for it. Bring he doesn't back want up the to talk about rules the, there. The, the, the substantive issues. It's not about his family and my family. Talks it's about your family. Man. Look, and your family's too. hurting yeah. badly. Look. If you're making less than, if you're a middle class family, there, you're by getting the way, hurt middle badly class families, right now. okay, are you're making on average over four thousand dollars more per year in three and a half years of Donald Trump compared to a one thousand dollar gain under eight years of Obama. will bring up the overlay. Middle class families have never seen fewer gains. Fewer tangible gains, trouble. quantifiable gains than under this. And want keep want in mind, this not even under this I asshole. He, he was the lackey. <laughs> he was Obama's <laughs> bitch. Typical political statement. Let's get off this China thing. And then he looks the family around the table, everything. Just right. a typical politician. <laughs> when I see that. Let's talk I'm about not North a typical Korea politician. Okay, that's why I got elected. That let's was, talk. Let's about get off the subject of China. Let's talk around sitting around the table. All right. 
Come on, Joe, you can do better. We're going to talk oh, about oh, yeah. uh, President Trump. You've met with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un I wish you would have said the average wage increase, but I'll take it. You've talked about your beautiful letters with him. You've touted the fact that there hasn't been a war or a long-range missile test. And yet North Korea recently rolled out its biggest ever intercontinental ballistic missile and continues to develop its nuclear arsenal. Do you see that as a betrayal of the They rolled out a Lego toy and said, ah, you see, yeah, you see, on. if we use that, send food and money, please. Barack. Obama, we sat in the White House, right at the beginning, had a great conversation. It was supposed to be 15 minutes, and it was well over an hour. He said, the biggest problem we have with North is North Korea. He indicated, we will be in a war with North Korea. Guess what? It would be a nuclear war. And he does have plenty of nuclear capability. In the meantime, I have a very good relationship with him. Different kind of a guy, but he probably thinks the same thing about me. We have a different kind of a relationship. We have a very good relationship, and there's no war. And you know, about oh, two months ago, he broke into a certain area. They said, oh, there's going to be trouble. I said, no, they're not, because he's not going to do that. And I was right. Look, instead of being in a war where millions of people, Seoul, you know, is 25 miles away, millions and millions, 32 million people, of class so games? millions bring of people so would be dead okay. right now. President we Trump, don't have that's a war, 30 seconds. Have a Thank you. Vice President Biden, to you, North Korea conducted four nuclear tests under the Obama administration. Why do you think you would be able to rein in this persistent threat? Right? Because I Did they just turn Donald Trump's mic off? Yeah. 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 They had to be part Did of they? the deal because here's the rate. I, I I mean, while he was answering, but they didn't turn Joe Biden's mic off while Trump was answering? They said, why are you moving your missile defense up so close? Why are you moving more forward? Forces here. Why are you continue to do uh, um, uh, military maneuvers with South Korea? I said That's because you guys don't have it for North the Korea is it a problem, is and we're going to continue to do it. Real so median household control income gained four thousand one hundred forty-four dollars during Trump's sure first three years in office. It's over five thousand. So if you want to do something, eight about years of, um, of Obama, about one thousand dollars. I think we have a source from the Wall Street Journal. Let's go back to crazy, demented old circus monkey. He's talked about his good buddy, who's a thug, a thug. And he talks about how we're better off. And they are, have much more capable missiles, able to reach U.S. territory much more easily than ever did before. Let what are you going to do, send over you, some drones? Vice President Biden, you've said you wouldn't meet with Kim Jong-un without preconditions. Are there any conditions under which you would meet well, with him? I don't know thing or two about preconditions. I'm riddled with them, Christian. Drawing down his nuclear capacity to get that the Korean Peninsula should be a nuclear-free zone. All right, let's move on to American families. How about a red? Very quickly. Yeah. Should a red be a nuclear free zone, you prick? Who, by the way, he, he combed his like hair. Look at the back of his head. It's Obama. like Sonic. He didn't like him. He <laughs> There's a point. It. Okay, no, gotta give him a to respond to that he before we move it. on. And no that's way. okay. You know what, North Korea? We're not in a war. We have a good relationship. You know, people don't understand. Having a good relationship Trump, with leaders of on, other countries is a, a good country, thing. We have a lot of questions to get yes. to. Not Your response. Saying we had a good relationship with Hitler before he, in fact, invaded Europe. What? The rest of Europe. Come uh. on. Is the reason Come you on. were there giving hand jobs to Ahmadinejad. That's why Iran launched a disinformation campaign to, to intimidate people to into not voting for Donald Trump. Sanctions that just you. happened today. Why he Iran wants right, Joe yeah. Biden, and they're yeah. far greater of a threat than North Korea. President not only to us, but to our allies. Yes. North Korea was a mess. We and in fact, if you remember so the first two or three months, tonight, there was a very Trump. dangerous period of my first three months before mm. we sort of worked things out a little bit. Okay. There was a very day. They left us a mess. And Obama would be, I think, yep. the first to say it was the single biggest problem he thought that our country. OK, had. let's move on to American families and the economy. One of the issues that's most about your family, important Joe. to them is <laughs> health care, as you both know. Today, Close there was thing. a key Listen, vote on a new Supreme when Court me and my justice. Family, Barrett, cozy and up next is to the, the center of her Thanksgiving fund. crack rock. Over 20 million <laughs> Americans get their health insurance through the Affordable Care Act. And it's hooker, headed to the Supreme the blessing, Court, and your administration, Mr. President, is advocating for the court to overturn it. If the Supreme Court does overturn that law, those 20 million Americans could lose their health insurance almost overnight. So what would you do if those people have their health insurance taken away? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Sure. First of all, I've already done something that nobody thought was possible. Through the legislature, I terminated the individual mandate. That is the worst part of Obamacare, as we call it. The individual mandate where you have yep. to pay a fortune for the privilege of not having to pay for bad health insurance. I terminated it. <laughs> it's gone. Now it's in court because Obamacare is no True, good. That's a thug but then I made a decision. Run it as well as you can to my people, great people. Run it as well as you can. I could have gone the other route and made everybody very unhappy. They ran it. 
Uh, premiums are down. Everything's down. Here's the problem. No matter how well you run it, it's no good. What we'd like to do is terminate it. We have the individual mandate done. I don't know that it's going to work. If we don't win, we will have to run it and we'll have Obamacare, but it'll be better run. But it no is longer no. is Obamacare no, it's not. because Listen. without the individual mandate, it's much different. Pre-existing conditions will always stay. What I would like to do is a much better health care, much better will always protect people with pre-existing. So I'd like to terminate Obamacare, come up with a brand new, beautiful health care. The Democrats will do it because there'll be tremendous pressure on them, and we might even have the House by that time, and I think we're going to win the House, okay? You'll see, but I think we're going to win the House. But come up with a better health care, always protecting people with pre-existing so conditions. So one thing on that very already. important. Yeah. We have 180 million people out there that have great private health care. Far more than we're talking about with Obamacare. Joe Biden is going to terminate all of those policies. These are people that love their health care. People that have been successful, middle income people, been successful. They have 180 million plans, 180 million people, families. Under what he wants to do, which will basically be socialized medicine, he won't even have a choice. They want to terminate 180 million plans. We have done an incredible job on health care. And we're going to do this even better. This is where Biden has an advantage of never having okay. actually held a consistent position. Biden, where he'll yes, say he's not for you. Your health care plan calls for building on Obamacare. So my question is, what is your plan if the law is ruled unconstitutional hey, by yes, the Donald Supreme Trump Court? Yes, Donald Trump, largely illegal immigrants, people chose not to purchase health care well, about losing their plan. How about you ask him about deductibles going up an average option. of 200 something percent over like two years time? Yep. How about you ask about premiums going up 400 something percent? If you, do not have the wherewithal to be, if you qualify for Medicaid and you do not have the wherewithal in your state to get Medicaid, you automatically are enrolled, providing competition for insurance companies. That's what's going to happen. Where Secondly, all is we're going to make sure overall. we reduce he the premiums <laughs> and reduce drug prices by making sure that there's competition that doesn't exist now by allowing the Medicare to negotiate drug prices with the insurance companies. Thirdly, the idea that I want to eliminate private insurance, the reason why I had such a fight you help for by opening up across with 20 lines? candidates no, for Medicare. the nomination was I How about support insurance across state lines? private insurance. How about allowing people That's to purchase plans based on their health? Not one single yeah, 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 person private insurance How is Medicare going to negotiate, you crazy plan, old bastard? Nor but he wants did they under Obamacare. They did not lose their insurance unless they chose they wanted to go to something else. Lastly, we're going to make sure right. we're in a situation they that if they liked their doctor, they could keep their doctor, and then it turns out that they couldn't. No yeah. way. What is yeah. it? Do we have the number? Is it one, two out of three or one in three doctors will not take Medicare or Medicaid he's anymore? It's a huge about number. for a long time. There is no, he's never come it's up with a plan. either a third or I guess we're going to get the pre-existing condition plan at the same time we get the infrastructure plan that we've been waiting for since 17, 18, 19, and 20. The fact, I still have a, little, a few more minutes. I know you're getting anxious. 1920, the year the, you were born. <laughs> the fact is that there, he's already cost the American people because of his terrible handling of the COVID virus and the economic spillover. 10 million people have lost their private insurance. Then why is it all and he wants states, to take Joe? away 22 million more people who have it under Obamacare and over 110 Again, million my, my, people with pre-existing conditions. And all the people from I, COVID are going to have pre-existing conditions. What are they going to do? I have a follow-up for you, Vice President sure. Biden. It relates to Whoa, something a that follow President up? Trump what? said. He's oh, accusing you of wanting socialized medicine. What do you say to people oh, who have concerns that your health care plan, which includes a government insurance option, takes the country one the step closer to a health care system run the free entirely market. by the That's government? That's how it's always been done. It's ridiculous. It's like saying that, you know, we're, uh, the idea that the fact that there's a public option that people can choose... That makes it a socialist plan. Here's Look, what happens. The difference between private the insurance, and insurance it's just like those laws, it's antitrust right. laws, anti-monopoly yeah. laws. Everyone Let's say the there right are four gas stations on a car. You don't need to hear Joe Biden right now, so really quick. Let's say there are four gas stations. One company owns three, right? Owns three gas stations, drives the price down, even though they're losing money, so that that fourth gas station goes out of business and they drive the prices back up. That's what the public option is. The public option doesn't have to be efficient. Doesn't matter if there's red tape. Insurance companies try to compete, and then someone like Joe Biden says, throw a 
couple more trillion dollars at it, all of a sudden private insurance goes out of business, there's no competition, there's no accountability, and then you end up with a 52% income tax rate like you have in my home province of Quebec. Yes. Or the income tax rate in a state like California or New York of I think 62%, which is why 50 cent endorsed uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Public option is socialized health care, don't buy the bullshit. For eight years, and it's and not like it was 25 years ago. It was three and three quarters. It was just a little while ago, right? Less than four years ago. He didn't do anything. He didn't do it. He wants socialized medicine, and it's not that he wants it. His vice president, I mean, she is, is more liberal than Bernie Sanders and wants it even more. Bernie Sanders wants it. The Democrats want it. And You're going crazy. to have socialized medicine, just like you went with fracking. We're not going to have fracking. We're going to stop fracking. We're going to stop fracking. <laughs> then he goes to Pennsylvania after he gets a nomination. We'll get very lucky. And he fracking. goes to Pennsylvania. I can't remember. And he says, oh, we're going to have fracking. <laughs> And you never asked that question. And by the way, so far, I respect very much the way you're handling this. I have to say. By the way. But somebody should I ask the question. Michael. You can he, ask he goes for a year. Why is his mic not cut? We, have a, we, have, we do have a, number of, we have a number of topics. I think they're not supposed to be cut. We're going to get to We're going to get to The same thing topic. with socialized But they did cut Trump at least Vice President, your response, please. My response is people deserve to have affordable health care, period. Period, period, period. And the Biden care proposal will, in fact, provide for that affordable health care, lower premiums. What we're going to do is going to cost some but money. But why did you it's not do it when you were in office, Joe? Yeah. Premiums, went up, premiums went up. Deductibles went up. Record numbers. Pharmaceuticals went up. There's one guy on this stage right now, one guy, who's the first president in the history of modern America to bring down the average cost of drug prices. It's the guy with the orange face. Very quickly, then I want to talk about what's happening on Capitol Hill. Health. He's talking about socialized medicine yeah. and, Good. He, and, yes. and health care. When he talks about a public option, he's talking about destroying your Medicare, totally Wrong. destroying, and destroying your Social Security. And this whole country will come down. You know, Bernie Sanders tried it Bernie. in his state. He tried it in his state. Then he reversed. His governor was a very liberal governor. They want to make it work. Okay. It, let's hear it was let's let Vice President Biden to work. respond. It doesn't Vice work. President he's Biden a very responds. confused guy. He thinks he's running against somebody else. He's running against Joe Talk. Biden. Yeah. I beat all those other people because I disagreed with them. Joe Biden is running against. And the idea that we're in a situation that they're going to destroy Medicare, this is the guy that the actuary Medicare said, if in fact, at Social Security, if in fact he continues to withhold his plan to withhold the tax on Social Security, Social Security will be bankrupt in by 2023 with no way to make up for it. This is the guy who's tried yeah, to cut years to fix Medicare. It. You so, raided the Social I mean, the Security Fund, Trump asshole, to yeah. fund what companies like Solyndra. Social Security and Medicare. You raided the Social Security Fund. There's no money he in there. It's a shell game, just like the shell ago, game with Hunter ago, Biden as the shell go corporation. Go back and look at the records. Pick one. He tried to hurt it's Social Hunter. Security years ago. It's All right, Hunter. let's move on. I'm going to move on. Let me, they Mr. President, I have to move on to the next question. They said the stock market will boom if I'm elected. If he's elected, the stock market will crash. Okay, let's move right. on to the next Thank question the mayor's very mind. quickly. Look, the idea that the stock market is booming is his only measure of what's happening. Where I come from in Scranton and Claymont, the people don't live off of the stock market. The full just, in the, do. Uh, just in the last the people in Scranton three, hate three you, and everyone in Wall Street crisis, gives you money. So the, the billionaires in this country made, according to the Wall Street, seven hundred billion more dollars. Seven hundred billion more because dollars. Because the economy because is better. The average American better. makes what five thousand more per year. The there. average American what family. To them? Let's talk Under about you, the, the average American family, family Joe, didn't even outpace roof. inflation. Are through the roof. All right. He, he didn't make it old circus Scranton. monkey. That's like one of the, he lived there for a short period gonna, of time before okay, he even knew we're it. We're going to move on. The people of Pennsylvania. Let me move on to my next question, gentlemen. As of tonight, more than twelve million people are out of work. And as of tonight, 8 million more Americans have fallen into poverty and more families are going hungry every day. Those hit hardest are women and people of color. What? They see oh Washington fighting over a relief bill. Mr. President, why haven't you been able to get them the help they need? 30 seconds here. Because Nancy Pelosi you're doesn't what? want to approve it. I do. But you're the president. I do, but I still have to get. Unfortunately, that's one of the reasons He's I think we're going to take over the He doesn't do it all by mandate. He Nancy understands yeah. constitutional yeah. parameters. Because she'd love okay, to have Kristen, some victories. Okay, Kristen, 1.8 trillion. On He's trying to do this with the proper systems. The other guy Nancy says he'll just force everyone to wear masks. We Follow are up, sweetheart. We're able to do something. Don't forget, we've already approved three plans, and it's gone through, including the Democrats, in all fairness. 
This one she doesn't want. It's near the election because she thinks it helps her politically. I think it hurts her politically. All right, Mr. Uh, Vice President. You know, the Republican leader in the, in, in the United States Senate said he can't yeah. pass it. He will not be able to pass it. He does not have Republican votes. Why ain't he talking to his Republican friends? Let me follow up with you, Vice President. We made Did Biden Pelosi say she would take let me, let me the 1.8 trillion, Biden? Biden. The question. You are the no. leader of the Democratic it's not Party. Because of Republicans. Why have you not pushed the Democrats to get a deal for the American people? Well, I have, and they have pushed it. Look, they passed this act all the way back in the beginning of the summer. This is like it's not summer. new. It's been out there. This Heroes Act has been sitting there. And look at what's happening. When I was in charge of the Recovery Act with $800 billion, I was able to get $145 billion to local communities that have to balance their hey, budgets and states. What about dollars? What happened to that when he was talking about it fire, earlier? Fire, Whereas Donald Trump was discussing something that was directly funded by taxes on China? Yeah. 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 I got, 100, so I got $800 billion. Cities, Who's dollars? Running. He will not support that. They have not done a thing for them. $1.8 trillion, your party said no. $1.8 trillion, your party said no. $1.8 trillion, Democrats said no. $1.8 trillion, Democrats have said no. was a bailout of badly run, high crime, Democrat, all run by Democrats, cities and True. states. It was a way of getting a lot of money, billions and billions of dollars to these kids. It was also a way of getting a lot of money from our people's pockets to people mm. that come into our country illegally. We were going to take care of everything for them. And what that does, and I'd love to do that, I'd love to help them, but what that does, everybody all over the world will start pouring into our country. We can't do it. This was a way of taking care of them. This was a way of spending on things that had nothing to do with COVID, oh, as per your question. But it was really a big bailout for badly run Democrat cities and states. All right, I want to... If I get elected, I'm not going to... I'm running as a proud Democrat, but I'm going to be an American president. Oh, that's I don't a catchphrase like Vin Diesel states. on the late night what circuit. What I see Drink is American, American to United to States. And folks, every single state out there finds themselves in trouble. They're going to start laying off, whether they're red or blue. No, Cops, red or Firefighters, first responders, because teachers, because they have to balance their budget. And the founders were smart. I'm they sorry. The I'm sorry. The deficit Police the officers, military firefighters, and teachers. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> like like teachers are going into a burning building. Right. Like teachers have a villain that you would see in backdraft. For crying out loud, you might have a kid who eats paste. I'm sorry. Teachers, thank you for what you do. But you are not first responders. You are not the firefighters. At, in 9-11, in the important people were NYPD, FDNY, and the military. It's not you, teachers. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of deifying teachers. Yeah. Us to be able to call PPP. I wish I could work nine months Money's a year. Supposed to go right. to help them do everything from organize how they can deal with their businesses being open safely, d d schools, how they can make classrooms smaller, how they can hire more teachers, how bigger? they can put ventilation systems in. They need the help. The businesses as well as the schools need the help. Open up, Joe. But this, these guys will not help them. Is not giving them any of the money. We are going to. There's nothing specific coming from Joe Biden. Nothing. This guy won't help with the money and the help. And uh, the minimum wage. That's not helping. Uh, I think it should be a state option. Alabama is different than New York. New York is different from Vermont. Every state is different. It should be a state you, option. You said very we recently. We have to help. It's very important. We have to help our point. small businesses. You, you How are you helping your small Mute businesses Kristen when Welker's you're forcing mic. wages? Yeah. What's going to happen and what's been proven to happen is when you do that, these small businesses fire many of their employees. You said very recently true. you would consider way. raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an Say hour. It. You said recently you would consider raising the federal minimum wage to $15 I, an really hour. Like, is that still the case? And I would consider it. In a, to an extent, but in a what I really like, what I re in a second administration, but not to a level that's going to put all these businesses out of business. It should be a state option. Look, every I've lived in different places, I know different places. They're all different. Here's the thing: some you places, can choose. Fifteen dollars is the not so bad. The average American family in other has places, increased their wages states, by over five thousand okay, dollars in four Trump years of Donald Trump. You can President pick that, or fifteen an hour, and put yeah. the average American family. Out of business or into a single yep. income household. That's your choice. Yep. Filet of fish, $17 an hour. 
Go screw yourself. Down the street because they've allowed us to make it. What's happening? They deserve a minimum wage of fifteen dollars. Anything below First that puts you below the poverty get more level. More than fifteen. And there is no evidence that when you you're raise the minimum wage. Tough. Businesses go out of business. That is Did simply not true. Did you say first responders don't make $15 an hour? He said seven, eight dollars an hour. They make us survive, and they make us do this. First responders, they deserve more. In this context, Mr. President, the your hell? administration separated children from their parents at the border. Uh, at least four thousand kids. Out, You've He's since reversed your zero tolerance policy, Shh. but the United States can't locate the Let parents of questions. more than five hundred children. So, how will these families ever be reunited? Uh, children are brought here by coyotes and lots of bad people, cartels, and they're brought here and they used to use them to get Biden's into our country. We now have as strong a border as we've ever had. Like a 400 miles of brand new wall. You see the numbers and we let people in, but they have to come in legally and they come in through. But America. how will you reunite these kids you, with their families, let me just tell you, Mr. President? They built cages. You know, they used to say, I built the cages. Yep. And then they had a picture in a certain newspaper and it was a picture of these horrible cages. And they said, look at these cages. President Trump built them. And then it, it was, was determined they were true. built in 2014. That's true. That was him. Do you they have a built plan cages. to reunite the kids? Yes, we're working families? on it very, we're, we're trying very hard. But a lot of these kids come out without the parents. Christine they come Walker, over through cartels and through policy, coyotes and through gangs. 90, I believe it was Vice 93 under Bill Clinton. Know your shit, Kristen Welker. These 500 plus kids came with parents. They separated them at the border to make it a disincentive to come to begin with. No, because the Flores consent policy deemed it cruel and unusual treatment of children to imprison them the way they would with parents. That is why people need to understand this. Kristen Welker either knows this and is lying or she is an idiot unfit to moderate this debate. You need someone who's sharp enough to call someone on their bullshit and that's all Biden is. He's a walking pile of corn infested bullshit. With googly eyes. Let's yeah. talk about what we're talking about. What happened? Parents were ripped, their kids were ripped from their arms and separated. No. Uh, and now they cannot find over 500 We have the loaded wall for an Can someone put those it kids my head? are no, no, no. alone. No, 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 no. Nowhere to go. It's not Nowhere to go. It. It's criminal. It's criminal. Let me ask Kristen, you about it. I will it. say this. They went down. We brought reporters. Uh, everything. Mexico, I hear it's a big they place. They are Honduras, so well where they came taken from. care of. Yeah. Yeah. They're in facilities Pay taxes there. that were so clean. But some of them haven't been reunited good. with But just families. ask one question. Who built the cages? I'd love you to ask them that. Who built the cages? Let me ask about your immigration policy, Mr. Vice uh, President. Let me get rid of the question, Christian Walker. You asked a leading false question. Who built the cages? 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 So why should voters trust you with an immigration overhaul now? Because we made a mistake. It, made too, it took too long to get it right. Immigration it took too long to get it right. List of I'll topics. be president of the United States, not vice president of the United States. And I'm the so fact confused. is, I've made it very clear. Really all over Within that. 100 all days, over I'm going to send to the United States Congress a pathway to citizenship for over 11 million undocumented people. And all Holy those shit! So called. Everyone dreamers, should repeat that on a loop kids, like a morphine going drip. He's going to give a path to citizenship right away to 11 million undocumented immigrants, wow. meaning illegal aliens. Someone should put that on a on a loop like a morphine drip, and yeah. just put that on the Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania airwaves. Send it to the Steel Workers Union. Send it to the UAW. He just said that 11 million people who will take four, five, six, seven dollars an hour people who have no interest in the american economy and the average american worker that he will give them a pathway to citizenship and to vote if that makes it on the airwaves in the midwest in that rust belt key demographic right now he loses the election i bet you they won't talk about it he is immediately going to give a pathway to 11 million if that, that happens insane. there goes the united states of america yeah because we already calculated over 2 million compromised, potentially compromised votes in this election. Now let's add 11 million people who are indebted to Biden because he used taxpayer dollars to give them free citizenship to the most valuable country that has ever granted citizenship in the history of the United States. Came across and they were arrested. They, in fact, were given a date to show up for their hearing. They were released. And guess what? They showed up for a hearing. And this is the first president in the history of the United States. What about the ones who released and raped people? Seeking you asylum, piece of shit. Yeah. Has to do it or in murder another them. country. That's never happened before in America. That's never happened before in America. You come to the United States and you make your case. 
that I seek asylum based on the following on the following premise: why I deserve it. What premise? Law. What premise? They're sitting in squalor on the other side. They have to be fleeing a persecute a persecuting government, not just my country sucks. We get it. All of South America sucks. That's not enough of a reason. (laughs) The reason that Ronald Reagan, the reason that Americans have a heart for Cuban Americans, who, by the way, overwhelmingly Republican, when they come here and they kiss the soil, they vote overwhelmingly Republican, is because they are fleeing a government who will kill them if they speak out against the government or they play the saxophone. They are fleeing a government that is persecuting them. While, by the way, your administration took a picture in front of the persecutor, Che Guevara, the only warlord, by the way, to be found, I think, in Bolivia with a rifle that had never been fired. Cuban Americans want to be American, and they're fleeing a persecuting government. That's not the same with people fleeing a shitty country. With the lowest IQ, they might come back. Okay, President Trump, let's give Vice President Biden a chance to respond, and then we're going to move on to the next section. What had to be said? Vice President Biden, your response. Know the law, what he's telling you is simply not true. Well, check, check it, it out. out. They don't come back. Check it out. All right, let's move but on. But we don't have to, to worry about it because they terminated it, so we don't have to worry about let's it. Let's move right. on to the next <laughs> section. Yeah, 525 kids not knowing where in God's name they're going to be and lost their parents. Go ahead. All right, let's talk about <laughs> our next section, which is race <laughs> in America. To. And I want to talk about the way black and brown Americans experience race in this country. Part of that experience uh. is something called the talk. It happens regardless of class and income. Parents who feel they have no choice but to prepare their children for the chance that they could be targeted, including by the police, for no reason other than the color of their skin. Bullshit. Mr. Vice President, in the next two minutes, I want you to speak directly to these families. Do you understand why? This is going to be the most pandering answer we've heard of the night, Joe Biden. I do. You know, my daughter is a social worker, and uh, she's all, she's written a lot about this. She has a graduate degree from the University of Pennsylvania in social work. And, you know, uh, one of the reasons why I ended up working on the east side of Wilmington, Delaware, which is 90 percent African-American, was to learn more about what was going on. What I didn't, I never had to tell my daughter if she's pulled over, make sure she puts for a traffic stop, put both hands on top of the wheel and don't reach for the glove box because someone may shoot you. But a black parent, no matter how wealthy or how poor they are, has to teach their child. When you're walking down the street, don't have a hoodie on when you go across the street. Making sure that you, in fact, if you get pulled over, yes, yes, sir, no, sir, hands on top of the wheel because you are, in you just fact, a victim you your white daughter. Yep. a person yeah. making $300,000 a year person or someone who's on, on, on food stamps. Holy the fact shit! Of the matter is, there is Did you say all blacks are on food stamps? Yep. Did you just apply that shit? Did I just hear that? So audio we up. I, we I, I think that's, that's true. Did I just hear that? Yeah. That is what he said. Uh, what a racist son of a bitch! Never ever lived wow. up to it. But we've all constantly been you moving black. the needle further and further you ain't to black. inclusion, there. not exclusion. This is the first president to come along and says that's the end of that. We're not going to do that anymore. We have to provide for economic opportunity. The end of keeping blacks on food stamps. Better yeah. health You know what? I better <laughs> my bumper sticker. Yeah. Schooling. Better access to He wants to, to liberate black Americans. That's why he has a record number of our votes. Businesses. All the things we can do, and I've laid out a clear plan as to how to do those they things. Haven't. Just to give people a shot. What's it's about plan? accumulating the ability to have wealth as well as it is to be free from violence. What? President Trump, Three same question to you. Let me remind you of the no, question. I'd like you to speak directly to these yeah, families. Do you understand point. why these <laughs> parents fear for their children? Yes, I do. And again, he's been in government 47 years. He never did a thing except in 1994 hey, when hey, he hey. did such harm to the black community. And they were called, and he called them super predators. Super predators. And he said that. He said it, super predators. And they kept never and lived that down. 1994, mm. your crime bill, the super predators. Nobody has done more for the black community than Donald Trump. And if you look, with Third the person. exception of Abraham Lincoln, possible exception, but the exception <laughs> of Abraham Lincoln, nobody has done what I've done. Criminal justice reform, Obama and Joe didn't do it. I don't even think they tried because they had no chance at doing it. They might have wanted to do it, but if you had to see the arms I had to twist to get that done, it was not a pretty picture, and everybody knows it, including some very liberal people that cried in my office. They cried in the Oval Office 
Two weeks later, they're out saying, gee, we have to defeat him. Criminal justice reform, prison reform, opportunity zones with Tim Scott, a great senator from South Carolina. He came in with this incredible idea for opportunity zones. It's one of the most successful programs. People don't talk about it. Tremendous investment is being made. Biggest beneficiary, the black and Hispanic communities, and then historically black colleges and universities. After three years of coming to the office, I love some of those guys, they were great. They came into the office and they said, I said, what are you doing? After three years, I said, why do you keep coming back? Because we have no funding. I said, you don't have to come back every year. We have to come back. Because President Obama would never give them long-term funding, and I did. 10-year, long-term funding, and I good. gave them more money than they asked for because they said, I think you need more. And I said, the only bad part about this is I may never see you again because I got very friendly with them, and they like me and I like them. But I saved it. Colleges oh. and universities. Okay, and we're going to talk that about both of your That was very inspiring records, but your answer. And again, notice the difference. Do Joe response Biden, based on falsehoods, never, you get shot. And this and uh, blacks yeah. need to be on welfare yeah. and uh, violence. And Donald Trump says, here's what I've done. Yeah. And this is my vision for black Americans. And by the way, his vision for black Americans is exactly the same as how he described the vision for all working middle class Americans. Yeah. Joe Biden just said, you're going to get shot, no one cares about you, and uh, you need to vote for me and food stamps. There's no positivity, there's no vision. He, this is very clear tonight. Donald Trump loves America and believes in America. Joe Biden, America is a useful tool for his election campaign. He doesn't get what it's about. He certainly doesn't get what black Americans are about. Of what the crime, of the crimes they were suggested. Look, and talk about he... Granted, he did, in fact, let 20 people, he commuted 20 people sentences. We commuted over 1,000 people sentences. Over 1,000. The very <laughs> law he's talking about is a law that, in fact, initiated by Barack Obama. And secondly, we're in a situation here where... What about your we, law? The what about Kamala's laws that put more nonviolent drug offenders behind bars than Ooh. any in modern American history? What about those no. laws? no minimum ma mandatories in the law. That's why I'm offering $20 billion to states to change their state laws to eliminate minimum mandatories and set up drug courts. No one Lighting should be going them? to jail because they have a drug problem. They should be going habit. to rehabilitation, wow. not to jail. What? We should it's fundamentally change the system and that's what I'm going to do. But why Several didn't times. he do it four Several. years ago? Why didn't you do that four years ago, even less than that? Boom. Why didn't you I do it? You were vice president. You keep talking about all these things you're going to do, and you're going to do this. <laughs> but you were there just a short time ago, yeah. and you guys did nothing. We did. You know, Joe, I, I ran because of you. I ran because <laughs> oh, of Barack Obama. Because you did a poor job. If I thought you did a good job, I would have never run. <laughs> I would have never run. I ran because of you. That's a thug I'm line looking right there. at you now. You're a politician. I ran because of you. All right, Vice President Biden, your response to that, and then I do have some <laughs> yeah. questions for both yeah. of you. Well, I tell you what, I uh, I That's hope he does way. look at me because what's happening here is, you know who I am, you know who he is, <laughs> you know yeah. his character, you know my character, you know our reputations for honor and telling the truth. I am anxious to have this race. I am anxious to see this take place. I am, the character of the country is on the ballot. Our character is on the ballot. Look at us closely. Let me ask some follow Excuse me. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gave you specifics. Russia, I'm a character. China, other countries, Iraq. People say hey, This it. is true. He's a character. He's a corrupt Vote for the character. All right. So don't give me the stuff about how you're this innocent baby. Joe, they're calling you a corrupt politician. Nobody. Hey, President Trump, the laptop I want to say that. Nobody. nobody. <laughs> give yourself an out, Joe. Some people President are calling Trump, you that. No, you are. Right but what am I? I want to stay on the issue of race. Yeah, you know what? Everyone in this room. Fact check. False. Everyone in this room calls you a corrupt politician. That's going to be that's all not everyone who serves in office is a corrupt politician. Only those who serve 48 years and have never held private gainful employment corrupt politician. <laughs> Go screw yourself, Joe. Former heads of the CIA, both parties say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody believes Lord, it except the, his and his good friend Rudy Giuliani. You mean the laptop is Rudy down? Giuliani. Another Russia, Russia, Russia uh, hoax? And you that's got exactly it. what. That's this way you exactly go. what. This is told. where he's going. The laptop yeah. right. is Russia, yeah. Russia, Russia. I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President, again with Russia. 
We're going to continue on the issue of race. Mr. President, you've described the Black Lives Matter. (laughs) She came in in record time to rescue Joe Biden because she realized he might talk himself into a legal corner. I have never seen that before. She realized he was about to talk himself into a legal corner because he's retarded. And so she decided she was going to step in and save him. She she shot the noose like the good, the bad, and the ugly. She shot it off for him. The first time I ever heard of Black Lives Matter, they were chanting... Pigs in a blanket, talking about police. Pigs, pigs, talking about our police. Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. I said, that's a horrible thing. And they were marching down the street. And that was my first uh, glimpse of Black Lives Matter. I thought it was a terrible thing. As far as uh, my relationships with all people, I think I have great relationships with all people. I am the least racist person in this room. Well, what do you say to Americans who are <laughs> by that rhetoric? I don't I, I mean, I don't in know the what room. To say. I got criminal justice reform done and prison the whole reform. Wide room. And I, I, was was in I took care of black hey. colleges and universities. <laughs> I don't know what to say. They can say anything. I mean, they can say anything. It's a very, it makes me sad because I am, I, I am the least racist person. I can't even see the audience because it's so dark. But I don't care who's in the audience. I'm the least racist person in this room. Okay, Vice President Biden, Abraham. let me ask you very quickly, and then I have a follow-up question for you. Abraham Lincoln here is one of the most racist presidents we've had in modern history. Wow. He pours fuel on every single racist fire. Every Wait, single one. Speaking of fuel, Started off his campaign a coming of, down the escalator saying he's going to get rid of those fuck you, Mexican fuel rapists. To Joe Biden. He's banned Muslims. Calling someone a racist with no proof. You're the one who said racial Nothing. jungle. You're the one who had a crime bill. Oh, You're the one who supported jungle. segregationists. Oh. You're the one who was only one hopscotch oh. seat away from Robert Byrd, who was recruiting for the Klan. You're the one. And I don't even think you're racist, Joe. But if I had to, if I had to have a scale, you would... You would weigh more than the duck. Lincoln, where did that come from? <laughs> That's bad. I mean, you said you're that, Abraham Lincoln. No, no, where did that? No, no. You said, I said not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody right. done what I've done for the black Joe community. Biden and I'm saying I didn't say did. I'm Abraham Lincoln. I what said not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody done what See, I've done for the black community. See, when Joe gets caught, he laughs. Community. Yeah. Now, you yeah. have done nothing other than the crime bill, which put oh God th- tens of thousands of black men mostly in jail. All right, let me, you know let, what? Me, let me they ask Vice President Biden Because if Biden you look at question. what's happening with the voting right there, there you go. Let we have me the Washington ask Vice Post. President Biden. They treated them about very, very badly. The, Just the, take a look at what's happening out there. Vice President Biden, let me give you a chance to respond within this context. Crime okay. bills that you supported in the 80s and 90s contributed to the incarceration of tens of thousands of young black men who had small oh. amounts of drugs in so their Trump possession. They are sons, they are brothers, their fathers, their uncles, whose families are still to this day, some of them suffering the consequences. So speak to those families. Why should they vote for you? One of the things is that in the 80s, okay. we passed 100 percent, all 100 senators voted for it, a bill on drugs and how to deal with drugs. It was a mistake. I've been trying to change the sense and particularly the portion on cocaine. Hunter Biden wasn't in on That's the vote, why I've been he arguing did that write in, in fact, yes, please. we should not send anyone to <laughs> jail an order. for a pure drug offense. They should be going into treatment across the board. What? That's what we should be spending money. That's why I set up drug courts, which were never funded by our Republican friends. They should not be going to jail for a drug or an alcohol problem. They should be going into treatment. Treatment. Did you take my That's what we've been trying to do. That's what I'm going to get done you, you because I think may, the American people have now seen that, in fact, it was a mistake to pass those laws relating to the drug. But they were not in the crime bill. But okay, why so. didn't he get it done? See, it's all talk, no action with these yep. politicians. Yep. Why didn't he get it done? That's so, what I'm going to do when I become president. He mentioned the you 80s, were but vice in 94, Biden dropped the crime bill that put more black men in prison than any bill I can think of. For eight years. Why didn't you get it done? You had eight years to get it done. Now you're saying you're going to get it done because you're all talk and no action, Jim. We got Your a lot response. of it done. We released 38,000. We got 38,000 prisoners left from the... You got out, nothing done. 38,000 <laughs> prisoners were released from federal prison. We have, There were over 1,000 people who were given clemency. We have made, in fact, we're the ones that put the in the legislation saying we could look at pattern and practice of police departments and what they were doing, how they were conducting themselves. I could go on, but we began the process. We began the process. <laughs> We lost an election. That's why 
time running to win back that election and change his terrible policy. I just ask, I just ask one question. Why didn't you do it in the eight years, a short time ago? Why didn't you do it? You just said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. You put tens because of thousands of mostly black young men in prison. Now Ooh. you're saying you're going to get you're going to undo that. Why didn't you get it done? You had eight years with Obama. Yeah. Because you know why, Joe? Because you're all talk. No, let no him answer. answer. All right, Vice President Biden, and then we're going to move on to the next section. Ooh, Joe Biden, Biden didn't have an answer. Congress. Oh! You gotta talk him into it, Joe. So All right, that hurt me. We're gonna move on to our next oh, section. Like I did with criminal justice change. reform. That's, I okay. had to talk Democrats Goodness. into it. Gentlemen, you're we're, we're running out of time, so we gotta get on to okay, climate change, epic. please. You both have very different visions on climate change. Oh, God, change. is it almost President over? President Trump, you Hold say that environmental that regulations work. have hurt jobs if in the energy sector. the ideas or bills had been proposed or pushed forward by Joe Biden, Mm. And you could say that the Congress said no. How would you both combat that? That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You have two minutes uninterrupted. Speaking so, of prison, uh, we have <laughs> Joe Biden just dropped. Put your soap on a string, Joe. <laughs> yeah, dude. I do love oh. the environment, but what I want is the cleanest, crystal clear water, the cleanest air. We have the best, lowest number in carbon emissions, which is a big standard that I notice Obama goes with all the time. Not Joe. I haven't heard Joe use the term because I'm not sure he knows what it represents or means, but I have heard <laughs> Obama use it. And we have the best carbon emission numbers that we've had in 35 years. Under this administration, oh. we are working so well with the industry. I need to refill. It can be what Vino or do. whatever. Look at China. How filthy it is. Oh. Look at Russia. Look at India. <laughs> it's filthy. The, the air is filthy. The Paris Accord, I took us out because we were going to have to spend trillions of dollars and we were treated very unfairly. When they Rare put us form. in there, they did us a great like disservice. Really well. They were going to take away our businesses. I will not sacrifice tens of millions of jobs, thousands and thousands of companies because of the Paris Accord. It was so unfair. China doesn't kick in until 2030. Russia goes back to a low standard and we kicked in right away. It would have been, yeah. it would have been, it would have destroyed our businesses. So, you ready? We have done an incredible job environmentally. We have the cleanest air, the cleanest water, and the best carbon emission standards that we've seen in many, many years. Vice President Biden. Well, I haven't destroyed our agreement issues. where other countries bend us Vice over. Vice President yeah. Biden, two minutes to you, uninterrupted. Climate change, climate warming, the global warming is an existential threat Ooh. to humanity. Oh. Scientists are we like, have a moral obligation to, to do it. No. And we're told oh, by no. all the leading He's scientists in the world, oh. we don't have much time. We're going to pass the point of no return within the next eight to ten years. Again. Four more years of this man. <laughs> okay. Eliminating really quickly. all the... Remember when Casio cortez said, it's like 12 years, we won't have a world. Right, right. And then everyone said, she really believes that. She said, I was obviously joking. He just said eight to ten years. Yeah. He shortened the time frame from AOC. <laughs> He's fucking crazier than AOC. Wow. Is that possible? <laughs> as well as labor. Jeez. People worried about jobs to support my climate plan. Because what it does, it will create millions of new good paying jobs. Uh, say what? We're going to invest in, for example, 500,000, 50,000, excuse me, 50,000 charging stations Big difference on charging. our highway yeah. so that we can own the electric car market of the future. In the meantime, China is doing We that. already we're do. We're going to be in a position Tesla's where we're going to see to it company. that Boom. we're going to take 4 million existing and they moved to Texas buildings from California. and 2 million existing yeah. homes and retrofit them so they don't leak as much energy, saving hundreds of millions of barrels of oil How in the process cost, and creating significant number of jobs. And by the way, the whole idea of what this is all going to do, it's going to create millions of jobs and it's going to clean the environment. Our health and our jobs are at stake. That's Ooh. what's happening. Oh. And what right now, by there the way, is. Wall Street firms indicated that my oh. plan, Thank you, Undertaker. My, Undertaker. my plan will in fact create 18.6 million jobs, 7 million Thanks. more than his. This is from Wall Street. And I'll create one trillion dollars more in economic again. growth than his proposal does. Not on climate, just on the economy. President Trump, you're right. They came out and said very strongly, six thousand five hundred dollars will be taken away from families under his plan. Boom. That his plan is an economic disaster. 
If you look at what he wants to do, you know, the, if you look at his plan, no, his environmental plan, climate. you know who developed it? AOC plus three. Oh. They know nothing <laughs> about the climate. I mean, she's got a good line of stuff, but she knows nothing about the climate. And they're all <laughs> hopping through hoops for AOC plus three. He's doing good. Yeah. 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 Their real plan costs AOC plus three. trillion dollars. Cut off those bitches' tails with a carving knife. If we had the, the best year in the history of the country for 100 years, it was a, it was we would to- three blind not even yeah. come yeah, close yeah. to a number yeah. like I wasn't that. Suggesting when he says cut buildings, off the right. they want to take they buildings tails. down because they want to make bigger windows into smaller windows. As far as they're concerned, if you had no window, it would be a lovely thing. This is the craziest plan that anybody has ever seen. And this wasn't done by smart people. This wasn't <laughs> done by anybody. Frankly, I don't even know how it could be good politically. Right. They want to spend a hundred trillion dollars. That's the real number. He's trying to say it was six. It's a hundred trillion dollars. They want to knock down buildings and build new buildings with little, tiny, Joe small Biden's windows. Joe Biden's sigh of disbelief and was and almost perfect. Okay. And many other things. <laughs> So let's hear from the vice president. I have a number more questions. I don't know where he comes from. I don't know where he comes up with these numbers. We a hundred let's trillion. Go with, no. Let's go with Scranton. Give Answer the question, Dick. Yeah. This plan was. Um, this is plan endorsed by every major, every major environmental group, and every labor group. Labor. Because they the know the deal? future lies. No. Can we fact check that? There's no way. That's not true. Breathe, that's not true. Every single job. labor yeah. group, okay? And by the way, the fastest growing industry in America are, is, is, is the electric, that's, the, yeah, uh, the excuse me, right uh, solar energy and wind. He thinks no, wind causes it's not. cancer, nope. windmills. It's the fastest growing jobs, and they pay good prevailing wages. Wrong. 25, 50 Wrong. bucks an hour. We By the way, worse for the environment. Take a look at Germany versus France. Also, also, when you're talking about President solar, Please how do you mine those materials, Joe? How do you store the energy? We don't have the batteries to store a city's infrastructure as far as the energy infrastructure for a city. Individuals can do it. Everything you just said is a lie. I know more about wind than you do. It's extremely expensive. Kills yep. all the birds. There you go. It's Union's not endorsing the Green New Deal. Got a lot That's of a lie. Problems. Fact They're check. Kristen Welker. In both Germany and China. And the Germany. fumes coming up, if you're a believer in carbon emission, the fumes coming up to make, make these massive windmills is more than anything that we're talking about with natural gas, which is very clean. One other thing. Find me a scientist solar. To say that. I love solar, but solar doesn't quite have it yet. It's not powerful yet to to really run our big, beautiful factories that we need to compete with the world. True. So False. it's all a pipe dream. Incorrect. But you know what we'll do? We're going to have the greatest economy in the world. But if you want to kill the all economy, right. get rid of your oil industry. You want and, and what about fracking? All right. Now, let me, now let me, have, let me allow fracking. Vice President I Biden to respond. I never said I oppose fracking. You, you said never. on tape. I did we'll show, show the, the tape. Uh, Red Put it on your website. We'll bring the clip the after this stream. The the let's remember. Let's come lie. back to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. He said he was going to ban fracking. fracking. That's a lie. Do Kristen work. Welker, unless you're real, unless you're retarded, you sweetheart, you know that's a lie. If you're following up with Donald Trump on two, three, four questions in, as far as we led with which pharmaceutical companies specifically are going to give us a vaccine before the election, yeah. then you should ask him, hey, wait hold on a second, Joe. You did say you would ban fracking. We will show you the clip in our post-game wrap-up after this. It's clear as day. He basically says, I'll ban fracking. I have one more question Isn't in this pod. Follow up! Have- he was against Follow fracking. Up, he man. said it. I will show that to you tomorrow. I Good. am against fracking. Until he got yeah, the nomination, went you. to Pennsylvania, then he said, but you know what, Pennsylvania? He'll be against it very soon because his party is totally against fracking it. Fracking on federal land, I said. No fracking you and said, no oh, oil on oh, federal land. Let me ask this final question in this section. And by the way, it's not fracking on federal land. Final. It's fracking that requires Trump any Trump kind of a trajectory, any kind of a pipe to even broach federal land at any point, which, by the way, is necessary for any fracking to work, which is what makes it so clean, energy efficient, and better than bringing in oil on tankers from Saudi Arabia, you dumb shit. Another four years in office. Uh, The families that we're talking about are employed heavily, and they're making a lot of money, more money than they've ever made. If you look at the kind of numbers that we produce for Hispanic, for black, for Asian, It's nine times greater the percentage gain than it was under in three years than it was under eight years of the two of them, to put it nicely. 
Nine times a month. <laughs> now, somebody lives. I have not heard the numbers or the statest- statistics of your city, <laughs> but they're making a tremendous amount of money. To put it nicely, we saved it. And your I saved mom's it again a drug a addled months whore. Ago when oil was crashing <laughs> because of the pandemic. Okay. We saved it. We got, say what you want about relationship, we got Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Russia to cut back way back, we saved our oil industry, and now it's very vibrant to get, right. and everybody has very inexpensive gasoline. Remember Vice that. President yep. Biden, your Huge. response, and then we're going to have a That was Newt Gingrich's entire campaign, $2 a gas. It's just one component to Donald Trump's never-ending winning. Don't understand yeah. this. Yeah. They're they they winning. Win. Chemical plants that, in fact, pollute. Chemical mm-hmm. plants and oil plants and refineries that mm-hmm. pollute. I used to live near that when I was growing up in Claymont, Delaware. Uh, and all the more great. oil refineries He's in Marcus Hook and the Delaware River than there is <laughs> any place, including in Houston at the time. When my mom get in the car and when, when there were first frost when to I drive me to school, turning the windshield over, there'd be oil slick in the window. <laughs> That's why so many people in my state were dying and getting He's cancer. Be start the fact time. is, those when front line communities, it's not a matter Rocky Mountain time zone. By the way, Joe, that was 70 years ago. Maybe something more recent. The pollutants coming out of those fence line communities. Okay, I have one final question. Would you close down falls, the oil industry? It falls, would you close down the oil industry? I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I would transition. It is a big statement. That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> the oil industry. Why would you do that? Significantly. Oh, I see. Here's the deal. But That's a big statement. That. Well, if you let me finish the statement, because it has did. to be replaced by renewable energy over time. Over time, and I'd stop giving to the oil industry. I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. He won't give federal subsidies to the, the, the gas. Oh, excuse me, to the oh, to, what a big uh, man you are! Next time, bring a pack of gum. You can show me how to <laughs> chew it. Into the oil industry. We actually do All go right. to solar and wind. We and have that's one maybe final the biggest question. statement in terms of business. That's the biggest statement. Okay. Because we basically, what he's question, saying is he is Mr. going President. to destroy the oil industry. Okay. Will you remember that, Texas? Will you okay. remember that, Pennsylvania? Oh, yeah. Vice mother. President Biden. Oh! 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 All right. One Is he final get question China to do it? No, we're finished with Is this. Is he going to get China to do it? We have to, 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 move on to, to our final it? question. No. We have to, to rejoin our Paris question. Accord and make oh. China abide by what they agreed to. All right. This How do you have though. leverage when you join Gentlemen, in with every other and country? <laughs> you couldn't even get yeah. people to pay 0.5% in NATO for eight years. 0.5% in NATO. We each have one minute, starting with you, Mr. We have to make a country totally successful as it was prior to the plague coming in from China. Now we're rebuilding it and we're doing record numbers, 11.4 million jobs in a short period of time, etc. But I will tell you, go back. Before the plague came in, just before, I was getting calls from people that were not normally people that would call me. They wanted to get together. We had the best black unemployment numbers in the history of our country. Hispanic, women, Asian, People with diplomas, with no diplomas, People MIT with slippers. graduates, True. number one in the class, everybody had the best numbers. And you know what? The other side wanted to get together. They wanted to unify. Success is going to bring us together. We are on the road to success. But I'm message. cutting taxes, and he wants to raise everybody's taxes, and he wants to put new regulations on everything. He will kill it. If he gets in, you will have a depression, the likes of which you've never seen. Your 401ks will go to hell, and it'll be a very, very sad day for this country. All right. Boom. Vice President Biden, same question to you. What Powerful. will you say during your inaugural address to Americans who did not vote for you? I will say I'm an American president. I represent all of you, whether you voted for me or against me. And I'm going to make sure that you're represented. I'm going to give you hope. We're going to move. We're going to choose science over fiction. We're going to choose hope over fear. We're going to choose to move forward because we have enormous opportunities, enormous opportunities to make things better. We can grow this economy. We can deal with the systemic racism. And at the same time, Jeez. we can make sure that our economy is being run and moved and motivated by clean energy, creating millions of new jobs. And that's the fact. He's that's te- what we're going to do. He's two second and time. His closing today, speech is about energy because it's the last question. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He can't think of anything that happened before that. Yeah. No. 
You can. This isn't a general closing statement. It's about the last question. Making sure that everyone has an even chance. And I'm going to make sure you get that. You haven't been getting it the last four years. Please. All right. I want to thank you both for a very robust Please. hour and a half of fantastic debate. Really appreciate it. President Trump, former Vice President Joe Biden, thank you to Belmont University for hosting us tonight. And most importantly, thank you to those watching tonight. Election Day is November 3rd. Don't forget to vote. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night. Thank you. Okay, again, the, uh, so the, the promo more. code oh. is CrowderMania. That's where you get $30 off right now. $30 Ooh. off if you go to ladderwithcrowder.com slash mug club. We're wow. about to go to uh, mug club exclusively for your chat and the winner of the costume contest. That's only for 24 hours, and then we will have a $30 off discount for the entire election live stream. We'll be live streaming until, oh, yeah. until we call the election. That could, so we could be here for two weeks. Oh, wow. Um, you never know. So you never know. please do tune in for that. <laughs> I need to uh, And uh, we will be taking your chat exclusively. Uh, I want to, do we have the fracking clip from Joe Biden? Can you guys let me, do we have that? Yes. yes. Before we do anything else, I want to show you this yeah. because this is something where he just lied and he was not fact-checked at all and we'll give you our closing thoughts. Let's bring up the Joe, did Joe Biden ever say, imply, or insinuate that he would ban fracking? No more, no new fracking. We, we are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. Well, like, what about say stopping fracking and stopping yeah. pipe? Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. I guarantee, you, I guarantee, you, we're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to cooperate. <laughs> No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends. Number one. Three consecutive American presidents have enjoyed stints of explosive economic growth due to a boom in oil and natural gas production. As president, would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth, even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue-collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. No more, no no fracking. That's loop enough. Wow. Mm. Wow. Well, so That's, listen, there it is. That, a couple of things to note. I, and this bothers me both about the right and the left. Unless something is blatant, then people don't have something to bitch about. This, to me, was far worse than Chris Wallace. Hmm. Far worse than Chris hmm. Wallace because of how subversive it was. Because of the one, two, three, four yeah. specific follow-ups on Donald yeah. Trump and none on Joe Biden. You have to believe one of two things. I keep wanting to say Savannah. You have to believe that Kristen Welker <laughs> either fun. doesn't know about any of those quotes. What was that, at least half a dozen from Joe Biden? Either doesn't yep. know, in which case she's totally unqualified to be a journalist moderating the debates, or she's lying. There is no in-between. Yeah. There is no in-between. You cannot justifiably say, well, I need to fact check President Donald Trump. When Donald Trump says, we have vaccines coming down the pipeline, we're making a lot of progress, that's not something that you need to necessarily fact check. That's providing people hope. And then you go, when? Before election? When? Which companies? Can you name the companies? Will you give us specifics? Whereas Joe Biden says, I've never said that. I've never said I'll ban fracking. That's a specific. And it's one that if you are qualified to do your job, you hang him on. This was worse because just like I say, Governor Whitmer is far worse than AOC, far worse than uh, what's the name of the Somalian pirate, uh, uh, Ilan Omar, yeah. or Rashida Tlaib. <laughs> the same kind of ideology. <laughs> this, is my, this is my house now. Your Congress belongs to me. This is... <laughs> She's a different coat of paint, Governor Whitmore, with the same policies. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you have with Kristen Welker. She is just as bad. She's far worse than Chris Wallace. She didn't follow up at all on Joe Biden. Do, do you honestly believe that she doesn't understand that Joe Biden is lying about fracking? Something else that I think is pretty important. Donald Trump, in closing, made a great statement, and I don't think he realized just how wide-reaching it was, where he talked about, okay, minorities are doing better than ever before. We're actually reducing carbon emissions. We're actually improving uh, green energy, all of which is true. Yeah. By the way, here, l l let, me, let me fact check this for you. Yes, black unemployment is at record low. Yes, more people are driving electric cars and moving to green energy than ever before. Yes, we have reduced our carbon emissions more than we ever have in the United States. Yes, gas is also cheaper at the same time because we've made our own natural resources, gas, oil, more accessible rather than being dependent on foreign sources, which by the way is also why carbon emissions are overall lower. All of those things are true. 
But here's what's important. Donald Trump managed to accomplish all of those things. And by that, I mean the conservative ideology without going out and saying, hey, we're going to subsidize Solyndra. Without going out and saying, hey, we're going to give you more food stamps, with, which Joe Biden basically said tonight with, with black people. Yeah. Without going out and saying, hey, we're going to give you a free citizenship. By the way, if you want to talk about value added, a United States citizenship is the most valuable piece of paper you can have the world over. Yeah. Without any of those, a rising tide lifts all ships. And what has Donald Trump done? All of those things that he said were true. But if you look at specific policies, did he say we're going to punish the oil and gas industry? No, he didn't. Did he say we're going to punish white people so that black people have more employment? No, he didn't. Did he say we're going to punish working class uh, Americans so that uh, we can create more paths to citizenship? No, he didn't. What he did was stepped out of the way, reduce regulation, reduce taxes, and that benefited everybody because business owners were able to step in and do their job and employ more Americans and create the greatest economy that we've ever known. And I'll tell you this, I'll tell you what, if Joe Biden becomes president, there are a lot of companies out there who We'll have to lay people off. Yeah, we won't. I'm just going to take a pay cut myself. Just so you know, we might we might not grow as much. We might not be able to do as many shows because we may not have as much money for production. But I'm not going to be laying anybody off. But I can tell you that there will be a direct impact on this company right now. Louder with Crowder. If Joe Biden becomes president and his economic policy becomes law, take two salaries. Audio Wade, you can show Audio Wade. Okay, Audio Wade, or it could be Tokenawan, or it could be. Quarter Black Garrett, take two full salaries at minimum is yep. what we will see in an increase in taxes. And I'm making you a promise that we're not going to lay people off because of that, but we may have to scale back on production. There is a direct yep. impact from economic policy and the same can be said for energy. The same can be said for black people. How do yep. you think Elon Musk went to Texas? Does Texas have more pro-green subsidies than California? Yeah. No, Texas nope. just has a non-crippling statist economy when compared <laughs> to California. So yeah, Elon you know. Musk, the man who thinks that this world could be Mad Max in a very short period of time, and a man who by every box that you check should be a liberal, left California, the economy that banned how many SUVs car lots could have to encourage the green car, electric car industry, he's leaving them for the <laughs> Texas oil man state. That yeah. should tell you what you need to know. Create an economy yeah. that benefits everybody and a rising tide lifts all ships. And Donald Trump, oh my gosh, what a positive message. Yeah. A yeah. message of yeah. hope, a message of what America is and what America can be, and he has the stats to back it up. Joe Biden doesn't want to fall back on his record. His record is racial jungle and the 94 crime bill and forgetting yeah. where he is when he drinks a bucket of salt water or someone turns on the microwave. So he has to make a bunch of empty promises that Kristen Walker will never fact check him on. This was a very stark contrast I think it was a surprising win for Donald Trump, and I said yeah. going in that it may be a silver lining. The fact that they have two minutes, what, when you look at Joe Biden, Joe Biden was not able to handle two minutes by himself. No. He does not do well with alone time. He does not do well without a backup band. And as much as Kristen Walker was trying to be the backup band, it didn't work. Final thing I will say is there was a recent fight in the UFC, actually, one of the only organizations that has seen actually a record increase in viewership because they allow wow. people to express their own political views and they don't put a Black Lives Matter in the middle of their octagon. Who there was know? a recent fight. Brian Ortega fought in the UFC. He fought against a guy named Korean Zombie. Now, for those who don't watch fighting, just listen and I'll make sure that this makes sense to you. Brian Ortega had been out of fighting for I believe it was a year and a half or two years. His last fight, he lost a title fight and he lost pretty badly and people said, well, you know what? That may be the end for him. After that fight, Brian Ortega switched camps. He fired a lot of his people. The only person that he kept was Henry Gracie, a good, uh, good friend of the show, part of the Gracie, Gracie family. And the question was, it's been a long layoff. Is there ring rust? How will Brian Ortega come back? Brian Ortega came back, watched the fight from last weekend, and it was possibly the most masterful performance we've ever seen in the 145 division in the UFC because he listened to the feedback, he listened to the criticism, he recalibrated, and he came back as a whole new fighter. Donald Trump tonight was the Brian Ortega of politics. Yeah. Yeah. This was a new man who came back. He corrected course. It's, it's a repeat of the second debate with Hillary Clinton. And I only wish that we would have a third, but Joe Biden has to get back to his basement. What do you <laughs> think uh, there, Macho Man Randy I, Day? I, I definitely think you're right. I think this was a different candidate this time for you know getting reelected. Um, and he did a great job. He held back when he needed to. He, he 
fought really hard and he gave Joe Biden enough rope to hang himself. You and I were talking about whether he would actually make that correction between the debates. And we're like, I hope somebody's in his ear. I hope somebody is going to make him listen and thank God that he did. The, the message is, there was a stark contrast, right? It was dark winter for Joe Biden. That's what he said. We're heading into a dark winter. Donald Trump said, things are getting better. The economy is getting better. Jobs are getting better. It was a positive message right, for yeah. the country. And Joe Biden said, things are horrible. You need me to come in and save you. And Donald exactly. Trump's like, okay, what's your policy to save? Well, we're, we're going to get rid of your tax plan. Okay, we're going to keep the economy closed. Oh, really? So you want to take tax dollars that we don't have to give to people mm -hmm. that would do better if the economy well, don't you was remember simply he, open? You weren't here. He critiqued Donald Trump on uh, tax dollars when Donald Trump was talking about how it was paid for by China, by the yeah. tariffs. Well, no, I saw that. I, I was here for that. And then he said, China like, oh, I got $800 for it. billion. Dollars. So it's yeah. totally inconsistent. It's totally inconsistent. He doesn't have a plan. Like He keeps coming out and saying, we need to give them money. We need to give them money. No, you don't. Listen, open the economy, you idiot. Yeah. You don't yeah. need to give them any more money. You need to open the economy and let the American people do what we do best, and that is go out and be entrepreneurs and innovate and create jobs. Well, listen, Get out of our way. I want to go to Quarter Black Garrett, Audio Wade's thoughts. We're going to read the costume winner at ladderwithcrowder.com oh, slash mug club, yeah. as well as all of your chats after this. Yes. But I will say this. You know, you've heard me say this before. What was the message tonight? Listen, if Republicans are the party of the rich, meaning, and I don't know what that means anymore because the rich, meaning big tech, big Hollywood, big Wall Street, right. big banks, they yeah. all endorse Joe Biden. But Republicans certainly are the party of business owners. Republicans are certainly the party of people with more money in their pockets or who want more money in their pockets. Yeah. If Republicans are the party of the business-minded, if Republicans are the party of the upper middle class, which statistically they vote overwhelmingly, that's a big myth too. The ultra-wealthy, the Bill Gates, the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, they don't vote Republican. No. But the small business owners, the people who maybe do do make 400000 a year and aren't just holding public office, but have worked their way up and they manage small businesses and maybe they're making half a million, maybe they're making a million. You shouldn't vilify them. You shouldn't hate them. Those people, the people who employ most of you watching, they vote Republican. So if the Republican Party, if Donald Trump is the party of the upper middle class wealthy, their incentive to have a voting base is to keep you wealthy. If Democrats are the party of the uber rich or the poor or blacks on welfare, as Joe Biden said, blacks say, on welfare, yeah. I'll make sure that more of them are on welfare. Guess what? It's in their best interest to keep you on welfare. Yep. If the Republican Party, what you heard tonight was a message of independence. Look, we have to get the country back open. We have to get back to normal. Donald Trump was saying we have to get people back to their work. We have to get people to, to back to running their businesses. We have to get teachers back to teaching. We have to get the economy self-sustaining once again. If yeah. that's his message, the only way Donald Trump wins, the only way Donald Trump has a W next to his name in that column at the end of his presidency, hopefully eight years, is guess what? If Americans are self-sustaining, yeah. Joe Biden, it was like Game of Thrones, only the first half. Winter is coming. It's going to be a dark winter. Show us where you mess up the White Walkers, which, by the way, <laughs> he looks strikingly like. The icy Ooh, blue yeah. eyes and the hair, Uncanny. and not to mention the demonic soul. Yeah. If the Democrat Party is a party of, <laughs> you can't do it, it's a dark winter, and we're going to continue welfare, guess what? It is in their best interest to make it a dark winter. It is in their yeah. best interest to make yep. sure that you need to stay on welfare. Yeah. It is as clear as humanly possible. And if people are listening to what they heard tonight, oh my God, I'm so grateful that actually people often say this about the polls. Well, you know what? Actually, the swing state polls are closer to within the margin of error than at this point with Hillary Clinton versus Donald yeah. Trump. I'm glad to hear that, but I expect after tonight that we're going to see those tighten up quite a bit mm, because oh yeah. people mm. from Scranton are going, well, they can't even say, I know that asshole because they don't. They've never <laughs> seen him there. He left when he was in a baby carriage. So uh, I think this was overall a pretty good debate. I think it yeah. moved the needle. Oh, and yeah. it'll be interesting to see how this changes the campaigning moving forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that this was the most shameful moderating that we've seen. That I think this was worse than Savannah Guthrie. I think it was worse than Chris Wallace. And right now, we are about to go exclusive to Mug Club at lighterwithcrowder.com slash mug club. The promo code is Crowder Mania. You get $30 off. Woo. For the next 24 hours, and we'll be offering that $30 off on election night. It only comes tonight, and then once every four years, that discount. Again, the discount code is CrowderMania. It's what allows us to continue because uh, apparently we've already been demonetized for this tonight. For, oh, of course. For naughty language, and also CNN isn't all too happy. So YouTube, thank you, screw you. But right now, we're going exclusive. Piss off.